bandages wield immense destructive power, acting as invisible chains that ensnare individuals in various negative ways. Malevolent forces adeptly employ these claims and chains to inflict enduring delays and sorrow, effectively imprisoning their victims. Spiritual captivity spells disaster, robbing individuals of freedom from relentless attacks and paralyzing their destinies. These chains wielded by wicked powers aim to stifle any attempts at progress growing more severe with each effort. For a Christian, however, bondage possesses a great threat, hindering blessings and plunging individuals or entire families into prolonged struggles with prosperity. However, the redeeming grace of Christ offers liberation from these chains of bondage. As Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 declares, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And so in the comment section, I encourage you to proclaim, Every bondage holding me in any area of my life breaks loose in the name of Jesus. Before we pray, I'd like to encourage you to consider giving this video a thumbs up as it aids others in understanding its significance. Moreover, I extend a heartfelt welcome to those who are new here. I am sure the Lord has orchestrated your presence as part of his plan to meet your need for deliverance. I invite you to subscribe to this channel to receive notifications of upcoming prayers. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for yet another day to come before you. Thank you for in your presence there is freedom. I lift up everyone who is in bondage in fervent prayer. Your word says in Psalm 147 verses 7 and 8 that he will uphold the cause of the oppressed, giving food to the hungry, setting prisoners free, giving sight to the blind, lifting up those who are bowed down and loving the righteous. Today, I stand on these promises as we see God's divine intervention for your deliverance from the bonds that may be holding you captive. I declare Psalm 146 verses 78 over you, trusting in God's unfailing love and power to bring liberation. You are not forgotten in the midst of struggles, for you have a God who cares deeply for the oppressed. So I lift up any areas in your life where you feel imprisoned, whether it be in your mind, emotions, relationships, or circumstances. May God's divine intervention break every chain and bring forth freedom and restoration over your life in the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, I speak against any forces of darkness that seek to bind you. God's word assures you that he set prisoners free. And I claim that freedom for you, whether the bondage is rooted in fear, sin, addiction, or any other form of oppression. I declare that the light of God pierces through the darkness, bringing liberty and release. I pray for the spirit of the sovereign Lord to move mightily into your life, just as Isaiah chapter 6 to 1 verse 1 proclaims, I anoint you with the oil of gladness, binding up the brokenhearted and proclaiming freedom for the captives. May the Holy Spirit bring comfort, healing, and a profound sense of God's presence, dismantling the chains that have hindered your walk in joy and peace. As I invoke God's presence, as I cling also to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, declaring that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And so I invite God's transformative power into your life. May the Lord breathe upon you, bringing liberty to areas where they have felt bound by circumstances, habits, or past hurts. Let the wind of God's freedom blow away every residue of captivity, leaving you refreshed and renewed. I pray for a revelation of God's plans for you. As mentioned in Jeremiah 29, 11, may you experience the hope and future that God has ordained for you, free from the shackles of doubt and despair. I declare that God's plans are for your welfare, not for evil, and that you will walk in the abundance of His grace. I release God's angels to encamp around you, as written in Psalm 34, verse 7, guarding you against any schemes of the enemy. 
God's protection is a shield and I trust that no weapon formed against you should prosper. May the Lord break the chains of fear, anxiety and uncertainty that may have taken root in your heart replacing them with a peace that surpasses all understanding. I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and mercy as I surrender these ones into your loving hands, confident that you, God Almighty, your deliverance is at hand. May they experience the freedom and victory that come through an intimate relationship with you, dear Father. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray, I come before you, Father, recognizing the power of your word and the promises you have bestowed upon us. In the midst of the struggles and chains that bind, I lift everyone up to you with unwavering faith, dear Father believing in your deliverance according to psalm 107 verse 14 i declare that god is the one who brings you out of darkness the altered darkness and breaks away the chains that entangles you his mighty hand is not limited by the bonds that may have held you captive i envision those chains being shattered now in the name of jesus for god's power is greater than any force that seeks to imprison you in the name of jesus i claim the truth of john 8 36 over your life jesus christ is the liberator and where he sets free there is true freedom i declare this freedom over you believing that you will experience the profound liberation that comes from being set free by the son jesus christ as i am back on this prayer journey i pray for god's grace to surround you let god's mess be a shield protecting you from the weight of the bondage that you have been experiencing I pray for a supernatural intervention, a divine breakthrough that dismantles every chain, every stronghold that hinders your freedom. For Jesus came to proclaim liberty to the captive, as it's written in Isaiah 61 verse 1. And so I proclaim and I take this promise for you. In the name of Jesus, you are released from the darkness that binds your heart and mind. May the Lord bring light into the areas where you feel trapped and let the truth of God's word permeate your soul i speak against every force that seeks to keep you in bondage whether it be fear addiction doubt or any other stronghold i declare that god's power is greater his word says in galatians 5 verse 1 it is for freedom that christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery i pray that you stand firm in the freedom god has provided and refuse to be burdened by the chains of the past may the holy spirit move in your life breaking down every barrier that separates you from the fullness of god's freedom may he fill you with his love joy and peace extinguishing the darkness that has lingered for too long god's spirit is a mighty force and i ask that it sweeps through your heart and soul bringing forth a transformation that testify to God's glory. In the shelter of God's presence, I find solace, and so I know that God is your rock, fortress, and deliverer, as declared in Psalm 18 verse 2. May the Lord uphold you with his strength and provide a refuge where you can find safety and peace. May the Lord shield you from the attacks of the enemy and fortify your spirit with the assurance that he is in control. I trust in the plans of God over your life, plans for welfare and not evil as stated in Jeremiah 29 11. Let everyone that is under the sound of my voice see hope and future, Lord God that you have designed for them. Remove any doubt or discouragement that may hinder their lives and believe in the freedom you offer. I thank you Lord for the privilege of lifting them before your throne and I believe in your faithfulness and your ability to break every chain that has held them bound in the name of Jesus. And I declare over your life, may your testimony be of God's miraculous deliverance and may you walk in the fullness of the freedom that only God can provide. Father, we thank you for this miraculous freedom. Thank you because souls of other men will see their lives and be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Good day, everyone. Today we'll be praying against the spirit of delay. But first, let's grasp some fundamental truths about God. God's desire for each of his children is to live a life of dominion and supernatural abundance. He doesn't intend for anyone to live a tail life. 
His plan is for you to thrive and excel. Delay is not a characteristic of God. While he may withhold certain things to protect us, he doesn't deny his children their rightful blessings. We witness this in the story of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 4 to 6, and chapter 2, verse 21, where God's time improved perfect. Moreover, God is always punctual. He's never late. The account of Jesus delaying to heal Lazarus in John 11 verses 1 to 46 demonstrate his deliberate timing to reveal his power over death. I encourage you to have un an unwavering faith in God, for with him nothing is impossible. This is written also in Luke chapter 1 verse 37. As we proceed to pray, please consider liking this video to help others discover its value. If you are new here, welcome. It's no coincidence, God orchestrated your presence to help you overcome delays. So feel free to subscribe for more prayers tailored for you on this channel. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before you with thanksgiving because you always hear our prayers. I thank you for giving your children the privilege of knowing you. Thank you for your mercies and love over their lives. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I declare that every force of delay obstructing the progress of everyone under the sound of my voice is today destroyed in the name of Jesus. I call upon the righteous anger of the Lord to consume every barrier hindering your advancement. I invite the Holy Spirit's overshadowing presence to accelerate your journey towards success and fulfillment. According to Psalm 143 verse 10, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. And so I reject and renounce every form of delay imposed upon your life in Jesus' name. I declare that you are propelled to your distinct place of glory, breaking down ancient barriers in the name of Jesus. I decree the destruction of every witchcraft stronghold, obstructing your breakthrough, and I refuse stagnation and claim progression over your life as mentioned in Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. You will always be at the top and never at the bottom. I bind every stronghold assigned to hinder your advancement in the name of Jesus. I call upon angelic hosts to remove every stumbling block on your path to promotion in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 34 verse 7, for the angel of the Lord is a God. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. So I pray that you are bestowed with a power to overcome every force opposing your elevation, rendering failure and setback powerless in your life. Every demonic opposition in your journey, I declare that they are disrupted in the name of Jesus. Aligning with the, with the promise of Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. May every spirit of misfortune in your life from today be extinguished in the name of Jesus and every individual collaborating with evil forces to hinder your progress I declare confusion in their midst right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that every assembly of demonic entities scheming against your elevation be engulfed in the flame of divine retribution in the name of Jesus. I claim divine favor and promotion in every aspect of your life. As stated in Psalm 5 verse 12, For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. I sever and release you from every generational curse of delay through the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare every foundational strong man hindering your advancement is obliterated in the name of Jesus. I command every evil scheme cause and delay to be uprooted from your life. I reject and cast off every influence of demonic delay obstructing your progress. 
as it is written in Isaiah 45 verse 2 I will go before you and I will level the mountains I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron I declare that every gate of hindrance erected by your ancestry be sealed shut by the flames of divine intervention in the name of Jesus I decree an end to the spirit of failure and delay impeding your advancement as affirmed in Isaiah 9 verse 4 for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders you will break the oppressor's rod just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian every incantation and divination plotted against your advancement be engulfed by the blood in the name of Jesus I pray that the purifying flames of the Holy Spirit consume every spell curse and enchantment crafted to hinder your life According to Isaiah 47 verse 14, Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. I declare that every curse as strong as iron aimed at obstructing your destiny is shattered into fragments in the name of Jesus. I declare that force fostering setbacks and delays in your life perish in the name of Jesus. Every demonic manipulation seeking to obscure your glory be consumed by the fairy presence of the Lord anything impeding your possession of rightful blessings be eradicated every evil eye fixed on hindering your progress be blinded by the light of god's truth i declare that you advance boldly by the refining flames of god's presence in the mighty name of jesus as affirmed in zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 for i say it the lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of her Lord Jesus, I extend heartfelt gratitude to you for the fulfillment of my prayer requests. According to Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And so I stand firm against the spirit of delay that seeks to hinder everyone's progress and destiny. The word of God says in Exodus chapter 23 verse 27, I will send my terror ahead of you and create panic among all the people whose hands you invade. I will make all your enemies turn and run. I claim this promise over your life declaring that every force of delay opposing your advancement shall be thrown into confusion and defeated by the mighty hand of the Lord. I reject every assignment of delay orchestrated by the enemy over your life and I declare that the divine timing and purposes of the Lord will prevail in your life in the name of Jesus. I renounce any agreement or alliance you have had with the forces of darkness that have contributed to the delays in your life and I sever every ungodly soul tie and connection just as you have received Jesus in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command every spirit of delay operating in your life to be bound and cast out into the abyss, never to return in the name of Jesus. I dismantle every stronghold and hindrance erected by the enemy to stall your progress and destiny fulfillment in the name of Jesus. I declare you are set free from the grip of delay. And I step into the fullness of God's timing. I declare we step together by faith knowing that Jesus had done for you what you agree upon in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for always hearing and delivering us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God's intention for your life is upward and forward, marked by growth and progress. He takes no pleasure in seeing you trapped or stagnant with years passing by without tangible advancement. That's why we are praying against stagnation. God desires your well-being and wants you to flourish as expressed in 3 John 2. While the enemy seeks to hold people back, God's mission is to uplift and propel them forward. To demonstrate his stance against stagnation, God sent Jesus to bear our sins, limitations, and curses. Jesus bore our sins, our stagnation on the cross, exchanging it for speed and progress in life. Through Jesus' sacrifice, the Father by the Holy Spirit has the authority to liberate you from stagnation in Jesus' name. You possess a right purchased by the blood of Jesus to be free from the stagnation 
and to experience rapid progress and advancement in life. When you understand this, or if you believe this, let me invite you to declare in the comments, I am truly free. Stagnation has no place in my life. As we move to pray, I encourage you to consider giving this video a thumbs up to assist others in recognizing its worth. If you're joining us from the for the first time, welcome. Your presence here is not by chance. It's part of God's plan to aid you in overcoming those things that have kept you at a place. Don't hesitate to subscribe for additional prayers specifically designed for you on this channel. Let us pray. Dear Father, I thank you for the sacrifice of your dear son, Jesus Christ, on the cross, paying the price for the freedom of your children from stagnation, according to Romans chapter 8, verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life has set us free in Christ Jesus. I embrace what you accomplish for every one of us. And so thank you, Lord, for your beloved children as they can look to the enemy and tell him with confidence that through Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, they have been granted the right to freedom, a legal entitlement to be liberated from stagnation in the powerful name of Jesus. I command stagnation to depart from your life. Spirit of stagnation, setback, and limitation leaves you now in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 18 verse 45, the strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. I claim your release from stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I render useless every force, power, and influence that has kept you immobilized with no progress. In Jesus' name, I invoke the power of God against the demon of stagnation that has kept you bound by the power of God through the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I declare your deliverance and claim your victory. I pray that you receive your redemption from stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. According to Ezekiel chapter 36 verses 29 to 30, I will also save you from all your uncleanness and I will call for the corn and will increase and lay no famine upon you. I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that they shall receive no more reproach of farming among the heathen. I command progress, speed and acceleration into your life and endeavors in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God, I call for progress, increase and growth through the power of God in the name of Jesus. As Isaiah 40, 31 promises, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, I declare a total freedom for you, leaving no aspect untouched. According to Exodus chapter 10 verse 26 a, there shall not an hoof be left behind. I declare that you are completely liberated from stagnation and its grip. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for restoration and compensation by faith and the power of God in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord embosses you for all the lost years and time you have spent in one place. I pray that you receive double for your shame in a with the word of God in Isaiah 61 verse 7. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will receive your inheritance. I pray that the Lord restores and renews your strength, granting you the ability to soar like an eagle, as promised in Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar high on wings as eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. I pray that you are endowed with the grace to make strides that defy human understanding, achieving in one year what would normally take a decade by the Lord's divine empowerment in the name of Jesus. I declare that time is compressed for your sake in Jesus' name. I declare that you are showered with grace for extraordinary achievements in every aspect of your life. I declare that your life becomes a testimony of progress, speed, and acceleration by the mighty power of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
I pray that your testimony gets to the extent that those who knew you previously would not recognize you a year from now due to the remarkable progress you have made through the Spirit of God. I declare that your life is adorned abundantly with the grace of the Father, transforming you into a marvel to many in Jesus' name. I declare that you fully and completely restore all the years, time, assets, and fortunes. Everyone under the sound of my voice is lost through the spirit of grace and holiness in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject the status of in insignificance in your life. I refuse confinement and limitation in your life. According to Isaiah 60 verse 22, a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you break through barriers surpassing human calculation and satanic constraints in the name of Jesus. I declare that you reclaim, recapture and obtain all that is rightfully yours. I invoke and embrace the grace for acceleration, the ability to swiftly accomplish tasks, fulfill purposes and achieve greatness in your life, all in the name of Jesus. I believe and receive that which was once stagnant in your life is now beginning to flow as promised in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. I decree that the principle of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is in operation within every facet of your life. Whether it be your properties, interests, career or any endeavor you undertake. Just as Romans 8 verse 2 declares, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. I affirm that this law of life brings about productivity, growth and prosperity in all your pursuits in Jesus' name. By the divine power of God and in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that you are endowed with creativity, ingenuity and excellence. I declare that you approach tasks with a fresh perspective leading to remarkable outcomes and testimonies in alignment with Exodus chapter 31 verse 3. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God and with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, with all kinds of skills. Henceforth, every endeavor you undertake flourishes abundantly for the breath of the Almighty rests upon you and the work of your hands. As stated in Job 33 verse 4, the Spirit of God has made me the breath of the Almighty gives me life. I declare that you walk in the blessings of Abraham, experiencing divine favor and prosperity in every aspect of your life. According to Psalm 1 verse 3, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season and his live also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I decree that your hands are blessed your mind is blessed and everything you engage in is blessed with increase, progress, peace and prosperity. As promised in Genesis 12 verse 2, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I declare Isaiah 58 verse 11 over you. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Father, we thank you because restoration is here. There is a continuous blessing that flows for everyone that has accepted and agreed with me in this prayer. For it is in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Divine intervention occurs when God actively participates in your life, demonstrating his power and sovereignty by ensuring victory in your battles. It involves God stepping in to transform stubborn situations that seem resistant to change, turning them into your favor. The prayer of divine intervention is a potent tool that you should consistently employ in life's challenges. There are numerous battles you face, demonic strongholds that resist defeat, stubborn adversaries that refuse to relent and blessings and victories that may remain without God's divine intervention. This underscores the significance and effectiveness 
or praying for divine intervention. As a believer, you are called to continually seek God's intervention in every aspect of your life, trusting that he will intervene in your situations. As Exodus 15, 6 states, Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy. So as we press on to pray, I urge you to consider liking this video to help others acknowledge its value. If you are new here, welcome. Your presence is not coincidental. It's part of God's plan to help you overcome delays. So feel free to subscribe for more prayers tailored for you on this channel. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I approach the throne of grace with humble gratitude, acknowledging your mercy and infinite love in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, I lift up everyone that is joining me in prayers before you, seeking your divine intervention in every area of their lives. Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2 affirm that our help comes from God, the maker of heaven and earth. In moments of uncertainty and anxiety, I pray over your life that you will find comfort in the knowledge that God is with you. Let the assurance of God's presence dispel any fear that may attempt to take root. May the Lord strengthen you with the might of his righteous right hand, enabling you to face challenges with unwavering confidence. And the journey of life, may the Lord lift up your eyes to the hills, recognizing that your help comes from him alone, the creator of the heavens and the earth. As you gaze upward, I pray for a deepening of your trust in God in times of perplexity when the path ahead seems unclear. May you trust in God's divine intervention. May the Holy Spirit gently lead you along straight paths and eliminate the way with the light of God. I pray for God's intervention in your relationships, whether it be family, friendships or connections in the workplace. May God's hand be evident in fostering love, understanding and unity in them in the name of Jesus. Where there is discord, I sow seeds of peace. Where there is brokenness, I bring healing in the name of Jesus. I declare Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 over you that as you bring your requests before God with thanksgiving the Lord's peace which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. As you face challenges in your professional endeavors, I pray for divine intervention in your career. May the Lord open doors that no one can shut and shut the doors that may lead to parts outside of his will in Jesus name. May the Lord grant you favor and wisdom in your workplace, allowing you to excel and be a beacon of his light in your sphere of influence. In the name of Jesus, I bring before you your physical and mental well-being in moments of weakness. May you find strength in God's word in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 assures us that he will uphold you with his righteous right hand. And so I pray for God's healing touch to be upon your body, mind and soul. May you experience the fullness of God's restoration. In financial matters, I seek God's intervention for you in an agreement with the word of God so that he assures you that he is your provider as I trust with you in God's faithfulness to meet every need according to his riches and glory according to Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. May the Lord grant you wisdom in stewardship and bless the work of your hands. I lift up your dreams, aspirations and desires before God. May your plans align with God's purpose and may God grant the desires of your heart as you delight in God according to Psalm 37 verse 4. In moments of spiritual growth, I pray for a deepening connection between you and God. May your faith be strengthened and your intimacy with God be a source of joy and strength. Every circumstance, whether joyful or challenging, to draw you closer to God's heart. I thank the Lord for his promise to intervene in the lives of everyone under the sound of my voice that seeks his face. And I trust that his hand is not shortened and his ear is attentive to your prayers. And so I declare, may his divine intervention be evident in every aspect of your life bringing glory and honor to his name in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. 
I've come before you, Lord God, humbly seeking your intervention in everyone's life. According to Psalm 50 verse 15, then call on me when you are in trouble and I'll rescue you and you will give me glory. And so I stand upon the assurance that when you call upon God, God hears you and responds with his divine presence. I lift you to God, acknowledging that in every aspect of your life, you need God's intervention. According to Jeremiah 29, 12, as you call upon God and pray, I trust that God is attentive to your voice. God's word is clear that he will hear. And I stand on the certainty that his ears are open to the pleas and desires of your heart. Psalm 50 verse 15 reminds us that in the day of trouble, you can call upon God and God promises to deliver you. I bring before God the troubles and challenges that you face. In his infinite mercy, may he deliver you from every burden that weighs heavy on your heart, whether it be in relationships, health, work, or any aspect of your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak against any form of bondage, limitation, or hindrance that seeks to hinder the fullness of life of God has ordained for you. I declare freedom from anxiety, fear, and uncertainty. May you experience the liberation that comes through God's divine intervention. I trust that God is not only the God who hears, but also the God who responds. God's word encourages us to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us according to 1 Peter 5 verse 7. Therefore, I release every concern, worry, and burden you carry into God's capable hands. God is the divine orchestrator and I believe in his ability to turn situations around for your good. As you seek God's intervention, I pray for wisdom and discernment. May the Lord God, may the Lord guide you in making decisions aligned with his perfect will. His word in Proverbs chapter 5, chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 encourage us to trust in God with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. I pray that you will surrender every area of your life to his leading, trusting that his ways are higher than your ways. In his mercy, may the Lord uphold you with his righteous right hand. May the Lord strengthen your spirit, soul, and body. May he grant you the resilience to navigate the challenges you may encounter, knowing that his presence is a source of a wavering support. I trust that as you see God diligently, his intervention would manifest miraculously in every area of your life. Let his peace which surpasses all understanding God, your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I command you into God's loving and capable hand. May his divine intervention permeate every aspect of your life, bringing about transformation, healing and prosperity. I thank you, Father, because you always hear and you always answer. These and more we pray with thanksgiving in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Needs are essential elements crucial for maintaining a peaceful and healthy lifestyle. It can be disheartening when individuals are unable to fulfill their needs, leading to depression, immoral behavior, and even thoughts of suicide. Hence, it is imperative to pray for God's provision even before needs arise. I want you to feel free to share in the comment section the areas where you need the Lord's provision and let's join in praying, trusting that God will meet you at the very point of your needs. The scripture gives an assurance of God's willingness to meet your needs abundantly. Ephesians 3.20 affirms that God can exceed your expectations, while 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 21 reminds you to trust in the living God who generously provides all things for your enjoyment. So before proceeding, don't forget to like this video so as to show its value to others and a warm welcome to newcomers. Your presence here is purposeful. The Lord definitely wants your needs to be met. Consider subscribing to the channel for more prayers. In times of need, it's crucial to cast aside fear, anxiety, worry, and doubt. James 1 verse 6 encourages us to ask in faith without doubting, and Hebrews 11 6 underscores the importance of faith in pleasing God and receiving His rewards. As we pray, let's hold on to faith, 
believing that God will indeed supply all our needs with unwavering faith. Let's continue in prayer. Dear Father, I thank you for the miracle of life bestowed upon your children. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your unwavering faithfulness and mercy upon your children and their families, acknowledging your preservation throughout the years. I give you all the glory as stated in Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Father, I pray that you reveal your mercy and provide for all their needs according to your riches in glory in the name of Jesus. As declared in Philippians 4 verse 19, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I declare that lack and want be eradicated completely from your life and replaced with a divine abundance. In the name of Jesus, Deuteronomy 28.11 says the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity concerning all the projects you desire to carry out. I pray for adequate provision to carry them out in the name of Jesus. In alignment with 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8, and God is able to bless you abundantly that in all things at all times having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I decree that every aspect of creation shall align to bring forth blessings in every area of your life, as stated in Romans 8.28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For any instances of carelessness and wastefulness with the divine provisions bestowed upon you and your family, I seek the forgiveness as we agree an intervention of the Father over you in accordance with Psalm 103 verses 10 to 12. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. I declare that every satanic hindrance against your supernatural provisions be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Every obstruction to your breakthrough to divine provision is demolished in the mighty name of Jesus. In matters concerning your academics and career, I pray that the Lord provides for your needs, ensuring that you lack no good thing in achieving your goals in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 verse 10 says, Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. I pray for divine connections with your destiny helpers who will generously support your projects and aspirations in the name of Jesus. I pray that they will swiftly locate you. I pray that the Lord will provide abundantly for your family members' needs, ensuring none of them would ever have to beg for survival or endure lack in the name of Jesus. I command every force of darkness hindering your financial blessings be exposed in the name of Jesus, as I declare judgment swiftly overtaking every altar of darkness perpetrating lack and poverty in your life in the name of jesus according to psalm 9 verse 16 the lord is known by his acts of justice the wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands i declare that poverty is not your portion for christ bore poverty so that i may experience abundance and so according to second corinthians chapter 8 verse 9 for you know the grace of our lord jesus christ that though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor, so that through his poverty we might become rich. I declare that your enemies watching you to see you beg for help shall be put to shame in Jesus' name. Psalm 14 verse 14 says, May all who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. I decree a release of financial blessings into your life, commanding money to flow towards you as it is needed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke all efforts of hell to subject you and your family to a life of poverty, trusting in Psalm 34 verse 15. 
the righteous cries out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. May any negative influences contributing to your financial struggles be eradicated from your life in Jesus name. I renounce every poverty mindset that limits your financial progress. Ask him for divine revelation to overcome you in accordance with 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. I declare an end to the cycle of poverty in your life and your family's life, invoking the power of the blood of Jesus as stated in Zechariah chapter 9 11. As for you, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will free your prisoners from the waterless pit. I pray that you receive divine assistance to settle all your financial obligations, decreeing an end to lack and disgrace in your household in the name of Jesus. I discard every garment of shame and disgrace and I declare that you are attired in the robes of abundance and provision from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61 verse 10 says, I delight greatly in the Lord and my soul rejoices in my God for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in the robe of his righteousness. I reject indebtedness in your life, trusting in God's provision to meet all your needs. As proclaimed in Psalm 23 verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. May you receive a grace to cultivate and nurture fruitful relationships that lead to financial abundance and stability. I pray that you will be attuned to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, avoiding missed opportunities for blessings in the name of Jesus. In accordance with John 16, 13, and the Spirit of Truth will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. I decree that none of your endeavors shall be abandoned, claiming a double portion of restoration in Jesus' name over your life as promised in Isaiah 61 verse 7. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance and you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory because you are not a God that lies. Thanking you, Lord God, for a breakthrough that has already been manifested. We receive it with thanksgiving and with joy in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Mercy stands as a crucial spiritual attribute for you as a believer, as it is the foundation of God's compassion towards humanity. Every human relies on God's mercy for their existence, as without it, their circumstances would be uncertain. Mercy embodies God's compassionate nature towards you, bestowing upon you unearned assistance and blessing. Psalm 86 verse 15 emphasizes more in it, which says, But you, O Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. It is essential to grasp that mercy emanates from God's love, grace and compassion towards his children. God's mercy is consistently available to you and I as he is always moved by compassion and love. Considering the significance of God's mercy, we will delve into prayers that invoke its manifestation in believers' lives. So I would like you to acknowledge your status as a beneficiary of the Lord's mercies by writing in the comment section, I abound in the mercies of the Lord. To those joining us for the first time, welcome. It's likely the Lord directed you here to experience his wonderful gift. For regular updates on prayers, don't forget to subscribe and to our existing subscribers, please like this video to help others recognize the value of our content. Let us pray. Father, I come before you with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus, knowing that you are already here even before we started praying. But thank you because your ears are not shut to our voices and therefore our confidence is that you will answer every prayer raised before you. 
in the name of Jesus. I pray that the undeserved favor of the Lord prevails in every situation you under the sound of my voice face in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 5 verse 12, surely Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. And so I declare that the Lord our Redeemer lives and his favor will shine upon you in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 90 verse 17, may the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. And so I pray that the Lord keeps following you with mercy and rescuing you from those who seek your demise in the name of Jesus. It's written in Psalm 6 verse 4, Turn Lord and deliver me, save me because of your unfailing love. And by the mercy of the Lord, I silence every satanic voice plotting your destruction. According to Psalm 143 verse 12, In your unfailing love, silence my enemies, destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. And so I stand on that word and I declare that everything around you works in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. I pray that the Lord hears and delivers you in times of your distress. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 120 verse 1 says, I call on the Lord in my distress. And he answers me. And so I declare that the goodness and mercy of the Lord would never depart from you. As it is written in Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 to 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I declare that by the mercies of the Lord, you shall not become a laughing stock before your enemies. As it is written in Psalm 71 verse 13. May my accusers perish in shame. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. I pray that you receive the mercies of the Lord before your enemies witness your frustration in the name of Jesus. Psalm 9 verse 13 says, Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death. I pray that God lifts the poor from the dust and needy from the ash heap shall show you his mercy and intervene in any situation that you are going through now in the name of Jesus. Psalm 113 verses 7 and 8 say, He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He sits them with princes, with the princes of his people. I pray that as you continually serve the Lord, his mercies will always triumph over judgment in your life. I pray that the Lord defends you from every false accusation of the enemy. As it is written in Psalm 35 verse 23, Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Though the challenges in your life seem overwhelming, I declare that the mercy of God prevails in your life, that you may experience His goodness. Psalm 8 to 6 verse 17, Give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and be put to shame for you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. May the grace of the Lord be sufficient for you and prevent your enemies from casting you into the pit in the name of Jesus. And I also pray that the Lord reveals his compassion to you. I pray that in his mercy, he raises up helpers for you in the season of your life. As stated in Psalm 30 verse 10, Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. I declare that you shall not be put to shame when you cry out to the Lord. I pray that you are helped by the grace of the Lord and may he grant you a testimony in the name of Jesus as it is written in Psalm 25 verse 2. In you I trust, let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. I pray that the door of safety is opened up for you so that you may find refuge. I pray that the shower of the mercies of the Lord descend upon you. According to Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 to 5, but because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ. I pray that you shall not be put to shame nor your enemies triumph over you in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 25 verse 3, no one who hopes in you will ever 
never be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. And so I pray that your life becomes an extraordinary testament of the mercies of the Lord. I pray that the mercies of the Lord speak on your behalf in place of work. According to Psalm 3 verse 7, Arise, Lord, deliver me. My God, strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. I pray the grace and mercy of the Lord delivers your soul from the grave that aim to wreck you in Jesus' name. Psalm 86 verse 13 says, For great is your love toward me. You have delivered me from the dead, from the realm of the dead. I pray that the Lord arises on your behalf and saves you from adversities that seek to threaten you in the name of Jesus. Because mercy belongs to God, I declare that no accusing finger prevails against you according to Romans 8.33. Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. I declare that the Lord be merciful to you, bless you and cause his face to shine upon you. According to Psalm 67 verse 1, may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his, shine, his face shine upon us. I pray that you enjoy the salvation of the Lord in every aspect of your life. According to Psalm 18 verse 35, you make your saving help my shield and your right hand sustain me. Your help has made me great. I declare with faith that divine grace and truth shall prevail in your house. I pray that you have the course to share with your team about the mercy of the Lord according to Psalm 145 verse 7. They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. Father, we bless your name because we know that you are not a man that you should lie, neither the son of man that you should repent. If you have said it, you would do it. If you have spoken it, it will come to pass. Our expectations are, are that there is none of this that we have prayed about will go to the ground without being fulfilled. So thank you, dear Father, in the name of Jesus for doing that which you said you would do for everyone under the sound of my voice receives their testimony in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus I pray. Amen. In Psalm 144 verse 1 King David the psalmist expresses gratitude declaring blessed be the Lord my rock who prepares my hands for war and my fingers for battle. This verse emphasizes the Lord's role as a source of strength and preparation for various battles encompassing both spiritual and the physical realms. It underscores the idea that the Lord equips individuals with the strength needed to face and overcome challenges. David acknowledges the Lord as the ultimate provider of strength, enabling believers to navigate diverse battles that life presents. This divine strength extends to every aspect of existence, demonstrating that relying on God's power is essential for triumph in various struggles. Beloved, I would like you to join me as I pray the prayer of strength for battles for you. The sentiment conveyed in th is that certain battles are conquerable only with the strength derived from God. So by recognizing the need for divine empowerment, believers find assurance that the Lord their rock is a steadfast source of strength preparing them for the multifaceted battles encountered on their life's journey. As I move ahead to pray, I would love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can receive more notifications or prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. As I humbly come interceding for everyone who faces battles and challenges that seem overwhelming, your word in Psalm 144 verse 1 says, Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Father, I lift these ones up to you, acknowledging that you are their source of strength and rock upon which they stand. I thank you, Father, for being a fortress and a refuge for them. 
God, you are the one who trains their hands for war and equips their fingers for battle. And therefore I pray for you that is in agreement with me that you may feel God training, God preparation and God guidance in every aspect and step of your journey. In the midst of battles, may you find confidence in God, the rock that does not waver. As you face the challenges before you, I pray that you draw strength from Psalm 18 verse 39. You armed me with the strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I pray that God arms you with his divine strength. May you be clothed with the armor of faith, righteousness and truth as you stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. I pray for your adversaries, whatever form they may take, whether internal struggles, external pressures or spiritual battles. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory over every adversary that rises against you even now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will experience the humbling of your adversaries through God's mighty power. May the Lord grant you the wisdom to discern the battles worth fighting and the battles best left in his hands. May you not be discouraged by the magnitude of the challenges, but find assurance in the truth that God is with you. God's presence is your greatest strength and in God you can overcome any oppositions. And I pray therefore, for resilience in you just as a rock withstands the crashing waves. May you stand firm in the face of adversity. Let God's strength be a shield around you, protecting your heart, mind and soul from the arrows of doubt, fear and discouragement. In the moments where you feel weary, I pray for renewed strength upon you in the name of Jesus. God's promise in Isaiah 40 verse 31 assures us that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength May you find solace in waiting and God, trusting that God will lift you up with his wings as eagles, enabling you to soar above the challenges. I pray for your mind that it will be guarded by the peace that surpasses understanding. Replace anxiety with God's assurance, doubt with God's truth, and confusion with God's wisdom. May you find strength not only in physical battles, but also in the battles of the mind and spirit in Jesus' name. God's word says in 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 40, You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I pray for a divine exchange where your weakness is traded for God's strength, where despair is replaced by hope and where defeat transforms into victory through God's mighty hand. As you walk through this battle, may you experience God's guidance like a shepherd leading a sheep through treacherous terrain. May God's rod and staff comfort and protect you. I pray that you feel God's guiding hand in every decision and step you take in the name of Jesus. I thank God for his promise in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And so I pray may you draw strength from God's realizing that your abilities are not limited by God's own, but empowered by the one who gives strength abundantly. In the midst of the battle, may you remember that God is the God who fights for you. God's love surrounds you like a shield. And so I pray that you will find courage and assurance in God's unfailing love. I commit your journey into God's hand, trusting that God's strength is made perfect in weakness. May you emerge from this battle not only stronger but also more rooted in faith and anchored in God's love and filled with the peace that surpasses all understanding in Jesus' powerful and victorious name. I pray God's word in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 that reminds us to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. I lift you up to God, acknowledging that the true strength comes from God alone. In the moments where the battle seems overwhelming, I pray that you find your strength anchored in God. God's word in Psalm 27 verse 1 declared, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? In the face of fear and uncertainty, I pray that you cling to God as your source of light and salvation. May God's presence be a fortress around you, dispelling all shadows of doubt and anxiety. 
I lift up the specific battles that you are facing now, whether they are physical, emotional, or spiritual. I trust in God's sovereignty. He is not only aware of your struggle, but also intimately involved in every detail. May He grant you the courage to face each challenge with confidence, knowing that He goes before you. In moments of wilderness, I pray that the Holy Spirit reminds you that you can lean on God for rest. His word premises in Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30. Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. And beloved I pray for you that you find solace in God's presence finding rest in the assurance that he carries your buddings. May the Lord equip you with discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy. May you be alert and vigilant, standing firm in your faith. I pray against any doubt or discouragement that may seek to undermine your confidence in God. Let the light of God's truth dispel the darkness of deception that the enemy is trying to give to you. May the Lord strengthen your relationship with him through prayer and the study of his word. May you draw close to God, finding refuge in God's premises. And in times of uncertainty, may you find comfort in the certainty of God's love and faithfulness. I pray for a community of support and encouragement around you. May the Lord surround you with your fellow believers who can uplift and strengthen you in the battles you face. May you experience the power of unity as you join together with others in faith. May the Lord grant you the wisdom to discern when to stand firm and when to yield to your guidance. May the Lord lead you in the path of righteousness. Let his light illuminate your way. May you move forward with confidence knowing that God is your guide and protector. I thank you, Father, for your promises of strength and protection over this one's life. As they face the battles ahead, I trust that your presence will be their anchor. May your mighty power manifest in their life, bringing victory and glory to your name. Thank you for answering our prayers. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Prayer possesses the transformative power to shatter the enduring bonds and chains that have persisted through the ages. The profound impact of prayer is illustrated in the early Christians' intercession for Paul when he was imprisoned. Their prayers resulted in the breaking of the chains that confined him. This echoes the sentiment expressed in Psalm 107 verse 14, proclaiming, He brought you out of darkness, the deepest darkness, and shattered your chains. In recognition of this potent force, I invite you to join me in earnest prayer to God. Together, let us petition the Almighty to break every chain that has persistently held you in bondage. Drawing inspiration from the biblical narrative of Paul's liberation through prayer and timeless truth encapsulated in Psalm 107 verse 14, we seek divine intervention to liberate and free you from the entanglement that have hindered and constrained you. Through collective supplication, we anticipate the breaking of chains that have endured. Trusting in the transformative power of prayer to bring forth liberation and freedom. As I move ahead to pray, I will love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can have more notifications of prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Father, I come before you with a heart burdened by the weight of chains and bonds that have entangled these ones under the sound of my voice. Your word in Psalm 107 verse 14 declares, He brought them out of darkness, the outer darkness, and broke away their chains. I lift you up therefore, brother and sister, to God, knowing that his power is greater than any bondage. I pray that you may experience the truth of the scripture in depth of your being. 
the Lord breaks away the chains that bind you, your spirit, the chains of fear, doubt, and despair. He is the God who sets captives free. And I believe that he can do the same for you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any strongholds that may be holding you captive. Let the light of God's love penetrate the darkest corners of your heart, dispelling all darkness. God's word assures us that where his spirit is, there is freedom. May his spirit move mightily in your life, bringing liberation from every form of bondage. I pray for the strength and courage for you that you need to walk away from the things that ensnare you. May the Lord grant you the wisdom to discern unhealthy patterns and the determination to break free from them. Our Savior Jesus Christ came to proclaim victory for the captives. I claim this victory for you today and I pray that you would fully grasp the reality of your identity in Christ. May the Lord remind you that you are beloved of the Most High God and God's love. There is no room for chains. Let God's love wash over you, cleansing and renewing your mind, body and spirit. I lift up any past wounds or traumas that may be contributing to the chains in your life. Father, you are the Lord, the healer of broken hearts, as I ask for your gentle touch to bring restoration and healing upon their lives. May you pour out your grace upon them, covering them with your peace that surpasses all understanding. May you find strength, therefore, brother, in God's word, meditating on the promises that declare freedom and victory. May the Lord surround you with a community of believers who will support, encourage, and uplift you in your journey towards freedom. May you use God's word as a sword to cut through the chains that bind you, setting yourself free to live the abundant life that God has promised you as a child of the Most High. Father, I thank you for your faithfulness and unfailing love. I trust that just as you brought others out of darkness and broke the chain, you will do the same for these ones. May your name be glorified in their testimony of liberation, even now and forevermore. Beloved, I pray that may the Lord be glorified in the testimony of your liberation. As you become a living testament of his power and grace, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, your word assures us in John 8, 36, that if the Son sets us free, we will be free indeed. And so I claim this promise for you under the sound of my voice that Christ Jesus has the power to break every chain that binds you. I pray for a profound revelation of this freedom in your heart and life even right now in the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 declares that it is for freedom that Christ has set you free. And I pray for the strength for you to stand firm in this freedom, resisting any yoke of slavery that may be trying to burden you once again. May the truth of God's word become a shield around you, protecting you from the schemes of the enemy and the weight of any past or present struggles. I lift up the areas of your life where you feel entangled and bound, whether it be in your thoughts, relationships, habits, or circumstances. I ask for God's intervention as I pray the Lord breaks every chain that hinders your spiritual, emotional, and mental well-being. I pray that God's light shine into the darkest corners of your heart, bringing healing and restoration. I pray that the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, as described in Isaiah 61 verse 1, will be upon you, anointing you with power to proclaim good news, to bind up the brokenhearted, and to release freedom for the captives. I ask for divine intervention in your life, replacing despair with hope, brokenness with wholeness, and captivity with liberty. As you seek to live a life aligned with God's will, I pray for discernment and strength. I pray you shall not be burdened by the expectations of the world or the weight of your own mistakes. Instead, may you find solace in the truth that is in Christ. You are a new creation, as stated in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. I also intercede on your behalf. As I pray for the community around you, let God's love flow through the relationships in your life, breaking down walls of isolation and fostering an environment of acceptance and grace. 
I rebuke any stronghold that may be holding you captive, whether it be fear, doubt, addiction, or any other form of bondage. I declare victory over these obstacles for you in the name of Jesus. Romans 8.37 says, that you were more than conquerors through him who loved you. I declare, may you experience this victorious reality in every aspect of your life. I pray for a renewed mind in your life. May the Holy Spirit transform your thoughts of perspective according to God's truth as mentioned in Romans 12 verse 2. I replace negative self-talk with affirmations of your identity in Christ. May the power of God's word demolish any strongholds of lies or deception that may have taken root in your life in the name of Jesus. In the process of breaking free, I pray for patience and endurance for you. Changes often the journey. And I ask for God's grace to sustain you through every step. I pray the Lord provides moments of rest and reflection, allowing his love to permeate every area of your life. In the midst of challenges, may you find strength in God's promises and the assurance that God is always with you. I commit your future in God's hands as you walk in the freedom God has provided. May the Holy Spirit guide your footsteps and illuminate the path ahead. God's word assures us in Psalm 32 verse 8 that you will instruct and teach us in every way we should go. And so I pray for you to hear God's gentle guidance and follow his lead. I trust that as I lift you before God, God is already at work breaking chains and setting you free. May his name be glorified through the testimony of your transformed life. Even now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. Amen. Beloved, do you know that the sinister strategy of the adversary is centered on theft, destruction and death, devoid of any benevolent intent? Employing demons and witches, the devil seeks to manipulate minds, instigating actions aligned with his malevolent agenda. It is therefore crucial to stand against the insidious influence of witchcraft manipulation through prayer. In combating this dark forces, one can find solace in the biblical truth that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That is 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. The scripture emphasizes the overwhelming strength of the indwelling presence of God within believers, surpassing the influence of any external malevolent force. So recognizing the devil's tactics to manipulate minds, Christians are encouraged to turn to prayer as a powerful defense. As I am about to pray against every witchcraft manipulation over your life, by invoking divine protection and relying on the strength found in God's indwelling spirit. Please join me as believers so that we can resist and overcome the manipulative schemes orchestrated by the enemy, as affirmed by the biblical assurance of God's supremacy over the forces of darkness. So as I move ahead to pray, I would love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can have more notifications or prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ. I come on the behalf of everyone here that has decided to agree with me to pray recognizing the authority and power that is in your name. Your word in Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 to 12 won against practices like witchcraft and sorcery, saying, Let no one be found among you who sacrifices their own son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or is a medium or spiritist or consults the dead. I bring before you, Father God, seeking protection and deliverance from any form of witchcraft every one that has joined me, as I declare that now you are under God's divine covering, as I rebuke any attempt of the enemy to manipulate or harm you through witchcraft. 
God's word is a shield and a fortress as I pray that you find refuge in God's mighty name in the authority of Jesus Christ I break and nullify any spells curses or manipulative schemes that may have been directed towards you I claim the victory declared in Galatians 5 verse 1 for you it is for freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery I declare may you stand firm in the freedom that is found only in God I pray for discernment for you that you may recognize any subtle or overt attempts to manipulate your life through dark forces I pray for a protective hedge around your body mind and spirit may the Lord guard your thoughts from the influence of any manipulative spells or enchantments let God's truth be a lamp unto your feet eliminating the path and dispelling any darkness that may seek to cloud your judgment in the powerful name of Jesus I command any spiritual forces engaged in manipulating your life to seize their activity now I declare that the blood of Jesus covers you and is a shield against weapons formed against you in the name of Jesus may the Lord release his angels to encamp around you let this heavenly beings be a formidable force against any spiritual attack or manipulations over your life God's angels excel in strength and so I pray that they guard you against unseen dangers providing a wall of defense against the enemy's tactics I pray for your spiritual armor as mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 to be fully equipped and firmly in place may you be clothed with the belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness the shoes of peace the shield of faith the helmet of righteousness and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God may this armor render you impervious to the schemes of the enemy I lift you who may be engaging in witchcraft praying for your hearts to be touched by God's love and truth may you turn away from darkness and find light of Christ may the angels of God break the chains that bind you to the forces of manipulation and open your eyes to the futility of such practices I declare the victory belongs to God over your life in the name of Jesus I take authority over every and any demonic influence associated with witchcraft and command it to leave your life I pray for a supernatural cleansing and restoration of your spiritual and emotional well-being I trust that God's hand is mighty to save you and I declare victory over any form of witchcraft manipulation in your life now in the name of Jesus I come again as I bring you before the Lord seeking God's divine protection and deliverance for you against any form of witchcraft manipulation second chronicles chapter 20 verse 15 declares for the battle is not yours but God's I lift you into God's mighty hand acknowledging that the battles you face are ultimately God's to fight I declare God's promise over you that the battle is not yours but God's I surrender your struggles your fears and your uncertainties even as you agree with me into God's sovereign care in the face of any witchcraft manipulation I trust in God's authority and power to overcome for you he is the Almighty and no scheme of the enemy can stand against him I invoke the truth of 1 John 4 4 over you you are from God and overcome the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world and so I pray that God empowers you with the awareness that his spirit within you is greater than any force of darkness outside let this truth resonate in your heart revealing and giving you confidence in God's victory in the name of Jesus also pray in the authority of that name Jesus Christ as I rebuke any witchcraft manipulation that may be affecting your life his word in Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 declares that Jesus disarmed the powers and authorities triumphing over them by the cross I claim this victory for you that every weapon formed against you through witchcraft is disarmed by the finished work of Christ on the cross in Jesus name I pray that you would be alert and of sober mind as instructed as first Peter chapter 5 verse 8 the word warns us that the devil prowls like a roaring lion seeking to devour but I stand against any devouring schemes targeted at you may you stand firm in the strength of God's spirit 
resisting the enemy's attempt to manipulate and control. I declare the truth of Galatians 5, 1 over you. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. May the Lord break every yoke of bondage associated with witchcraft manipulation over your life. Let the freedom found in Christ be a reality in your life. May you walk in the liberty that comes from being a child of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for discernment for you. May God's Spirit grant you the ability to recognize any form of witchcraft manipulation and to stand against it with the authority given by Jesus Christ. Let your mind be guarded by the truth of God's word and may doubt and confusion be dispelled by the light of God's revelation. And in the authority, standing on the word in Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12, I renounce and reject every form of divination, sorcery and witchcraft targeted at you. God's word warns against such practices and so I pray that you remain steadfast in your commitment to follow God's ways and seek God's protection. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon forged against you will prevail. I claim this promise for you that no weapon of witchcraft manipulation will prosper against you. May the Lord vindicate you and shield you from the accusations and schemes of the enemy. May you find solace and strength in God's presence. May you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, as mentioned in Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2. Finding rest in the shadow of God Almighty's wings. May the Lord surround you with His angels, standing God against any spiritual attacks. God's victory is your victory and I pray that you experience the peace that surpasses all understanding, trusting in God's unfailing love and protection. Father, we thank you for answering us and we bless your name in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Have you subscribed to our channel? If you haven't, please do so and God bless you as you do. Beloved, divine upliftment refers to the act of God lifting, promoting and elevating individual. It is experienced when unexpected blessings and advancements occur, surpassing one's merits. When one outshines peers and when one is favored and sees prosperity in their endeavors. Before I continue, I want you to take a moment to think about those areas in your life where you need divine upliftment and declare that. Where others are saying there is a casting down in that area, I shall say there is a lifting up. This divine favor originates from God as seen in Genesis 35 verse 9 where God blessed Jacob, elevating him above others. Similarly, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 26, Samuel grew in favor both with God and man, exemplifying divine upliftment. Joseph also encountered this divine favor as depicted in Genesis 39, verse 21, where God showed his mercy and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison keeper. So as I move on with the prayer, I would love to welcome the first timers here. This is your moment of upliftment, which is why I believe the Lord directed you here. To get more notifications of the prayers on this channel, please ensure to subscribe on our link. To all subscribers, I would love us to like this video so as to make others know what you are watching is valuable to them. Let us pray. I thank you, glorious Father, our everlasting covenant keeper, for always hearing as I pray and answering, for your continuous protection and provision in the lives of your children. We give you glory. We acknowledge your blessings and the wonderful things you are accomplishing. May your name be glorified, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice right now that you are lifted to new heights that you are led to places beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus Ephesians 3:20 says now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us 
I therefore declare divine elevation and breakthroughs in every endeavor you undertake in Jesus name. Psalm 3 verse 3 says, But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I pray that you experience divine favor and grace in every aspect of your life. As it is written in Psalm 90 verse 17, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I declare that you are showered with blessings that you are a channel of blessings to others. According to Genesis chapter 12 verse 2, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I proclaim in the name of Jesus that you are above your peers, that you are qualified for opportunities beyond your qualifications. In the name of Jesus, I pray that miracles will testify of the greatness of the Lord in your life. They are manifested in your life in Jesus name. I pray that you are elevated to dwell in the glorious presence of the Lord. As I also pray that the Lord pours out his abundant blessings upon you as it is written in Psalm 16 verse 11. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. I declare that the glory of the Lord shines upon every aspect of your life, career, finances and relationships displaying the works of his hands in the name of Jesus. I pray that wonders are performed in your life that will testify of the Lord's existence and power. According to Psalm 77 verse 14, you are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. May the Lord's favor and blessings locate you from every direction as it is written in Psalm 67 verses 1 and 2. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. I pray that grace of God accompanies you wherever you go as is written in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Therefore, I declare that you are designated for greatness. Psalm 18 verse 35 says, You make your saving help my shield, and your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. I pray promotion and advancement in all your endeavors. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you are bestowed with success upon every aspect of your life. I speak number 6 verses 24 to 26 over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace. You are provided with divine guidance to work in Lord's chosen part for you. In the name of Jesus, as Psalm 32 verse 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my love and eye on you. I proclaim that failure has no place in your life in the name of Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And that is your portion as I declare it for you in the name of Jesus. May your life serve as a conduit for the divine blessings of the Lord to others. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8, And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I declare that you carry the Lord's blessings and favor wherever you go. I pray that you develop capacity for greatness, breakthrough and divine elevation. The Lord brings your path in the name of Jesus. I pray that you receive the grace, obey the word of God and follow his will that you may be prosperous in the name of Jesus. According to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, study the book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night. You will be sure to obey everything in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Beloved, I declare that anything that may hinder your progress be removed in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 18 verse 36, you provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way. I declare that the plans of those who are plotting your downfall be frustrated. They shall witness the Lord's divine power in your life in the name of Jesus. 
as also it is written in Psalm 37 verses 12 to 13. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash the teeth of them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked for he knows their day is coming. So I pray for you, beloved, that you will find favor in the sight of the Lord and in the sight of other men in the name of Jesus. As it is written in Luke chapter 2 verse 52, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. I pray that the plans of the enemy to bring you down be turned against them uplifting you instead in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 verse 21 says, Evil will slay the wicked, the foes of the righteous will be condemned. And so I pray the same for you, that the face of the Lord shines upon you in the name of Jesus according to Numbers chapter 6 verse 25. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. I pray the Lord remembers you with his favor in the name of Jesus. As Psalm 106 verse 4 also says, Remember me, Lord, when you show your favor to your people. Come to my aid when you save them. May your life, I decree, may it bring glory to the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, do you know that the sinister strategy of the adversary is centered on theft, destruction and death? devoid of any benevolent intent. Employing demons and witches, the devil seeks to manipulate minds instigating actions aligned with his malevolent agenda. It is therefore crucial to stand against the insidious influence of witchcraft manipulation through prayer. In combating this dark forces, one can find solace in the biblical truth that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That is 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. The scripture emphasizes the overwhelming strength of the indwelling presence of God within believers, surpassing the influence of any external malevolent force. So recognizing the devil's tactics to manipulate minds, Christians are encouraged to turn to prayer as a powerful defense. As I am about to pray against every witchcraft manipulation over your life, by invoking divine protection and relying on the strength found in God's indwelling spirit. Please join me as believers so that we can resist and overcome the manipulative schemes orchestrated by the enemy as affirmed by the biblical assurance of God's supremacy over the forces of darkness. So as I move ahead to pray, I would love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can have more notifications of prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ. I come on the behalf of everyone here that has decided to agree with me to pray recognizing the authority and power that is in your name. Your word in Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 to 12 warn against practices like witchcraft and sorcery, saying, let no one be found among you who sacrifices their own son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or is a medium or spiritist or consults the dead. I bring before you, Father God, seeking protection and deliverance from any form of witchcraft ever one that has joined me, as I declare that now you are under God's divine covering as I rebuke any attempt of the enemy to manipulate or harm you through witchcraft. God's word is a shield and a fortress as I pray that you find refuge in God's mighty name, in the authority of Jesus Christ, I break and nullify any spells, curses or manipulative schemes that may have been directed towards you. I claim the victory declared in Galatians 5 verse 1 for you. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. I declare may you stand firm in the freedom that is found only in God 
I pray for discernment for you that you may recognize any subtle or overt attempts to manipulate your life through dark forces. I pray for a protective hedge around your body, mind and spirit. May the Lord guard your thoughts from the influence of any manipulative spells or enchantments. Let God's truth be a lamp unto your feet, eliminating the path and dispelling any darkness that may seek to cloud your judgment. In the powerful name of Jesus, I command any spiritual forces engaged in manipulating your life to seize their activity now. I declare that the blood of Jesus covers you and is a shield against weapons formed against you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord release his angels to encamp around you. Let this heavenly beings be a formidable force against any spiritual attack or manipulations over your life. God's angels excel in strength and so I pray that they guard you against unseen dangers, providing a wall of defense against the enemy's tactics. I pray for your spiritual armor as mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 to be fully equipped and firmly in place. May you be clothed with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of righteousness and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. May this armor render you impervious to the schemes of the enemy. I lift you who may be engaging in witchcraft praying for your hearts to be touched by God's love and truth. May you turn away from darkness and find light of Christ. May the angels of God break the chains that bind you to the forces of manipulation and open your eyes to the futility of such practices. I declare the victory belongs to God over your life in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every and any demonic influence associated with witchcraft and command it to leave your life. I pray for a supernatural cleansing and restoration of your spiritual and emotional well-being. I trust that God's hand is mighty to save you and I declare victory over any form of witchcraft manipulation in your life now in the name of Jesus. I come again as I bring you before the Lord seeking God's divine protection and deliverance for you against any form of witchcraft manipulation. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15 declares, For the battle is not yours but God's. I lift you into God's mighty hand, acknowledging that the battles you face are ultimately God's to fight. I declare God's promise over you that the battle is not yours but God's. I surrender your struggles, your fears and your uncertainties, even as you agree with me into God's sovereign care. In the face of any witchcraft manipulation, I trust in God's authority and power to overcome for you. He is the Almighty and no scheme of the enemy can stand against him. I invoke the truth of 1 John 4, 4 over you. You are from God and overcome. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. And so I pray that God empowers you with the awareness that his spirit within you is greater than any force of darkness outside. Let this truth resonate in your heart, revealing and giving you confidence in God's victory in the name of Jesus. Also pray in the authority of that name, Jesus Christ, as I rebuke any witchcraft manipulation that may be affecting your life. His word in Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 declares that Jesus disarmed the powers and authorities, triumphing over them by the cross. I claim this victory for you, that every weapon formed against you through witchcraft is disarmed by the finished work of Christ on the cross in Jesus' name. I pray that you would be alert and of sober mind as instructed as 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. The word warns us that the devil prowls like a roaring lion seeking to devour, but I stand against any devouring schemes targeted at you. May you stand firm in the strength of God's spirit, resisting the enemy's attempt to manipulate and control. I declare the truth of Galatians 5, 1 over you. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. May the Lord break every yoke of bondage associated with witchcraft manipulation over your life. Let the freedom found in Christ be a reality in your life. May you walk in the liberty that comes from being a child of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus. 
I pray for discernment for you. May God's Spirit grant you the ability to recognize any form of witchcraft manipulation and to stand against it with the authority given by Jesus Christ. Let your mind be guarded by the truth of God's word and may doubt and confusion be dispelled by the light of God's revelation. And in the authority, standing on the word in Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12, I renounce and reject every form of divination, sorcery and witchcraft targeted at you. God's word warns against such practices. And so I pray that you remain steadfast in your commitment to follow God's ways and seek God's protection. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon forged against you will prevail. I claim this promise for you that no weapon of witchcraft manipulation will prosper against you. May the Lord vindicate you and shield you from the accusations and schemes of the enemy. May you find solace and strength in God's presence. May you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, as mentioned in Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2, finding rest in the shadow of God Almighty's wings. May the Lord surround you with His angels, standing God against any spiritual attacks. God's victory is your victory and I pray that you experience the peace that surpasses all understanding, trusting in God's unfailing love and protection. Father, we thank you for answering us and we bless your name in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. The devil, known as the originator of falsehood and malice, constantly engages in warfare against believers often imposing evil burdens upon them such as the yoke of sin. By ensnaring Christians in sin, the devil ensures they remain in disobedience to God. This underscores the necessity of consistently praying for deliverance from the yoke of sin. Despite the devil's relentless attacks, you can find solace in their victory through Christ Jesus as stated in John 16 verse 33. I have told you that all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. This verse reassures believers of peace amidst trials, affirming Christ's triumph over the world, including Satan's schemes. I'd like you to make this declaration in the comment section. I walk in victory of Christ, therefore sin has no dominion over me. This prayer for deliverance from the yoke of sin holds significance as it reaffirms and activates your victory and liberation from the bondage of sin. Before we get into the prayer proper, I would love you to like this prayer. This can make the prayer available to those who need it. If you are new to the channel, you are welcome. I trust the Lord brings you to make your deliverance available. I would also like you to click on the subscribe icon so as to get notifications about more prayers for you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I express my gratitude for your unfailing love and mercy that surrounds your children and their family. According to Psalm 136 verse 1, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. And so, Lord, I offer worship for your constant protection and guidance over them and their household in the name of Jesus. And so, in the name of Jesus, I pray that from today you are liberated from the yoke of sin that tampers with your destiny. As it is written in Romans 6, 14, For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. With the divine power of the Lord, I declare that you are broken, free from the burden of sin, weighing you down in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 55 verse 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaking. I lay all burdens imposed on you by the devil at the feet of the cross in the name of Jesus. And I claim victory for you as you agree with me. In Jesus' name, I lose you from every evil yoke, restraining you in the name of Jesus. According to 1 Corinthians 15, 57, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
And so I declare that every yoke placed upon you is destroyed in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you are empowered to break free from every foundational yoke affecting you and your destiny. According to Romans 8, 11, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of a spirit who lives in you. I declare that every scheme of the wicked aimed at burdening you, your family, career, academics, marriage and ministry be put into chaos in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of sin and delay hindering success in your life be dismantled by the power that's in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are guarded against any association that may impose a yoke upon your life. Let every force feeling the presence of oppressive yokes in your life be destroyed. According to Isaiah 9 verse 4, for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burdens from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod just as you did when you destroy the army of Midian. And I decree that every yoke directed towards you and your family will recoil upon its sender in the name of Jesus. Psalm 7 verses 15 and 16 said, Whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made. The trouble they cause recalls on them. The violence comes down on their own head. May every demonic voice advocating for the imposition of yokes in your life and destiny be silenced in the name of Jesus. I bind every yoke of sin, delay and premature death in your life, family and marriage in the name of Jesus. As it is written in Matthew 18, 18, Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. I pray that the Lord takes control of every aspect of your life and liberates you from all forms of yokes in the name of Jesus. I declare that every destiny wasting and draining force away from your life, family and household business, career and ministry is diverted off your course in the name of Jesus. I nullify every evil scheme of the enemy aimed at in inflicting yokes upon your life. In the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 33 verse 10, the Lord foils the plans of the nations, he twists the purposes of the peoples. And so in the same vein, I pray that every concealed yoke in your life and destiny is exposed and uprooted in the name of Jesus. I declare that every aspect of your life radiates the glory of the Lord. According to Isaiah 60 verse 1, Arise, the glory of the Lord rises upon you. And I pray also that every demonic spirit behind the imposition of yokes in your life is their end. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord brings to completion everything concerning you and your household. As it is written in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And so I declare that you are set free from every bondage of yokes upon you. As it is written in Galatians 5 verse 1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. I pray that the healing touch of the Lord is released upon you, removing every yoke and all yokes from your life and granting you perfect healing. I pray that all yokes of sin causing setbacks in your life and endeavors are dismissed in the name of Jesus. I declare that every altar of yokes manifesting in various aspects of your life are demolished in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are disassociated from every destiny sucking yoke. I declare that you are delivered from all yokes of sin aiming to prematurely end your life in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 91 verse 3, surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. I pray that the Lord keeps you and your household safe from all afflictions and yokes of the wicked. In the name of Jesus as it is written in Psalm 91 verse 10, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. Psalm 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him 
and he delivers them. And so I declare that the angel of the Lord are sent into the camp of the evil ones, plotting to send yokes into your life to disrupt their place in the name of Jesus. I speak immunity to you and your household against all forms of evil yokes and burdens in the name of Jesus. As all evil yokes are shattered from your life, I pray that your destiny and star awaken and shine brightly in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 60 verse 1, Arise, shine, for your light has come. I also declare that the power of yokes and burdens against you are rendered useless. I declare the destruction of every covenant with all demonic yokes and burdens placed upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that you and your family are untouchable for all and from all demonic yokes and burdens in the name of Jesus according to Psalm 125 verse 2 as the mountains surround Jerusalem so the Lord surround his people both now and forevermore father we thank you because you've done for us what we know will come to pass we know that we will receive the manifestation and our lives have changed for good even now on and forevermore in Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. Beloved, divine upliftment refers to the act of God lifting, promoting and elevating individual. It is experienced when unexpected blessings and advancements occur, surpassing one's merits. When one outshines peers and when one is favored and sees prosperity in their endeavors. Before I continue, I want you to take a moment to think about those areas in your life where you need divine upliftment and declare that. Where others are saying there is a casting down in that area, I shall say there is a lifting up. This divine favor originates from God, as seen in Genesis 35 verse 9, where God blessed Jacob, elevating him above others. Similarly, in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 26, Samuel grew in favor both with God and man, exemplifying divine upliftment. Joseph also encountered this divine favor as depicted in Genesis 39 verse 21 where God showed his mercy and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison keeper. So as I move on with the prayer, I would love to welcome the first timers here. This is your moment of upliftment, which is why I believe the Lord directed you here. To get more notifications of the prayers on this channel, please ensure to subscribe on our link. To all subscribers, I would love us to like this video so as to make others know what you are watching is valuable to them. Let us pray. I thank you, glorious Father, our everlasting covenant keeper, for always hearing as I pray and answering, for your continuous protection and provision in the lives of your children. We give you glory. We acknowledge your blessings and the wonderful things you are accomplishing. May your name be glorified, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice right now that you are lifted to new heights, that you are led to places beyond your imagination in the name of Jesus. Ephesians 3.20 says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. I therefore declare divine elevation and breakthroughs in every endeavor you undertake in Jesus' name. Psalm 3 verse 3 says, But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I pray that you experience divine favor and grace in every aspect of your life. As it is written in Psalm 90 verse 17, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I declare that you are showered with blessings, that you are a channel of blessings to others. According to Genesis chapter 12 verse 2, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I proclaim in the name of Jesus, 
that you are above your peers that you are qualified for opportunities beyond your qualifications in the name of Jesus I pray that miracles will testify of the greatness of the Lord in your life they are manifested in your life in Jesus name I pray that you are elevated to dwell in the glorious presence of the Lord as I also pray that the Lord pours out his abundant blessings upon you as it is written in Psalm 16 verse 11 you make known to me the path of life you will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. I declare that the glory of the Lord shines upon every aspect of your life, career, finances and relationships displaying the works of his hands in the name of Jesus. I pray that wonders are performed in your life that will testify of the Lord's existence and power. According to Psalm 77 verse 14, you are the God who performs miracles you display your power among the peoples. May the Lord's favor and blessings locate you from every direction as it is written in Psalm 67 verses 1 and 2. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. I pray that grace of God accompanies you wherever you go as is written in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Therefore, I declare that you are designated for greatness. Psalm 18 verse 35 says, You make your saving help my shoulder and your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. I pray promotion and advancement in all your endeavors. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you are bestowed with success upon every aspect of your life. I speak number 6 verses 24 to 26 over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you peace. You are provided with divine guidance to work in Lord's chosen part for you. In the name of Jesus, as Psalm 32 verse 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I proclaim that failure has no place in your life in the name of Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And that is your portion as I declare it for you in the name of Jesus. May your life serve as a conduit for the divine blessings of the Lord to others. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8, And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. I declare that you carry the Lord's blessings and favor wherever you go. I pray that you develop capacity for greatness, breakthrough and divine elevation. The Lord brings your path in the name of Jesus. I pray that you receive the grace, obey the word of God and follow his will that you may be prosperous in the name of Jesus. According to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, study the book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night. You will be sure to obey everything in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Beloved, I declare that anything that may hinder your progress be removed in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 18 verse 36, you provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way. I declare that the plans of those who are plotting your downfall will be frustrated. They shall witness the Lord's divine power in your life in the name of Jesus. As also it is written in Psalm 37 verses 12 to 13, the wicked plot against the righteous and gnash the teeth of them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. So I pray for you, beloved, that you will find favor in the sight of the Lord and in the sight of other men in the name of Jesus. As it is written in Luke chapter 2 verse 52, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. I pray that the plans of the enemy to bring you down be turned against them, uplifting you instead in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 verse 21 says, Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. And so I pray the same for you, that the face of the Lord shines upon you in the name of Jesus, according to Numbers chapter 6 verse 25. 
the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. I pray the Lord remembers you with his favor in the name of Jesus. As Psalm 106 verse 4 also says, Remember me, Lord, when you show your favor to your people. Come to my aid when you save them. May your life, I decree, may it bring glory to the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, do you know that the sinister strategy of the adversary is centered on theft, destruction and death, devoid of any benevolent intent? Employing demons and witches, the devil seeks to manipulate minds, instigating actions aligned with his malevolent agenda. It is therefore crucial to stand against the insidious influence of witchcraft manipulation through prayer. In combating these dark forces, one can find solace in the biblical truth that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That is 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. The scripture emphasizes the overwhelming strength of the indwelling presence of God within believers, surpassing the influence of any external malevolent force. So recognizing the devil's tactics to manipulate minds, Christians are encouraged to turn to prayer as a powerful defense. As I am about to pray against every witchcraft manipulation over your life by invoking divine protection and relying on the strength found in God's indwelling spirit, please join me as believers so that we can resist and overcome the manipulative schemes orchestrated by the enemy as affirmed by the biblical assurance of God's supremacy over the forces of darkness. So as I move ahead to pray, I would love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can have more notifications or prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name that is above every other name. Jesus Christ I come on the behalf of everyone here that has decided to agree with me to pray recognizing the authority and power that is in your name your word in Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 to 12 won against practices like witchcraft and sorcery saying let no one be found among you who sacrifices their own son or daughter in the fire who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft or casts spells or is a medium or spiritist or consults the dead. I bring before you, Father God, seeking protection and deliverance from any form of witchcraft every one that has joined me as I declare that now you are under God's divine covering as I rebuke any attempt of the enemy to manipulate or harm you through witchcraft. God's word is a shield and a fortress as I pray that you find refuge in God's mighty name in the authority of Jesus Christ. I break and nullify any spells, curses or manipulative schemes that may have been directed towards you. I claim the victory declared in Galatians 5 verse 1 for you. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. I declare may you stand firm in the freedom that is found only in God. I pray for discernment for you that you may recognize any subtle or overt attempts to manipulate your life through dark forces. I pray for a protective hedge around your body, mind and spirit. May the Lord guard your thoughts from the influence of any manipulative spells or enchantments. Let God's truth be a lamp unto your feet, eliminating the path and dispelling any darkness that may seek to cloud your judgment. In the powerful name of Jesus, I command any spiritual forces engaged in manipulating your life to seize their activity now. I declare that the blood of Jesus covers you and is a shield against weapons formed against you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord release his angels to encamp around you. Let this heavenly beings be a formidable force against any spiritual attack 
all manipulations over your life. God's angels excel in strength and so I pray that they guard you against unseen dangers providing a wall of defense against the enemy's tactics. I pray for your spiritual armor as mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 to be fully equipped and firmly in place. May you be clothed with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of righteousness, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. May this armor render you impervious to the schemes of the enemy. I lift you who may be engaging in witchcraft, praying for your hearts to be touched by God's love and truth. May you turn away from darkness and find light of Christ. May the angels of God break the chains that bind you to the forces of manipulation and open your eyes to the futility of such practices. I declare the victory belongs to God over your life in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every and any demonic influence associated with witchcraft and command it to leave your life. I pray for a supernatural cleansing and restoration of your spiritual and emotional well-being. I trust that God's hand is mighty to save you and I declare victory over any form of witchcraft manipulation in your life now in the name of Jesus. I come again as I bring you before the Lord seeking God's divine protection and deliverance for you against any form of witchcraft manipulation. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15 declares, For the battle is not yours but God's. I lift you into God's mighty hand, acknowledging that the battles you face are ultimately God's to fight. I declare God's promise over you that the battle is not yours but God's. I surrender your struggles, your fears and your uncertainties, even as you agree with me into God's sovereign care. In the face of any witchcraft manipulation, I trust in God's authority and power to overcome for you. He is the Almighty and no scheme of the enemy can stand against him. I invoke the truth of 1 John 4, 4 over you. You are from God and overcome. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. And so I pray that God empowers you with the awareness that his spirit within you is greater than any force of darkness outside. Let this truth resonate in your heart, revealing and giving you confidence in God's victory in the name of Jesus. Also pray in the authority of that name, Jesus Christ, as I rebuke any witchcraft manipulation that may be affecting your life. His word in Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 declares that Jesus disarmed the powers and authorities, triumphing over them by the cross. I claim this victory for you, that every weapon formed against you through witchcraft is disarmed by the finished work of Christ on the cross in Jesus' name. I pray that you would be alert and of sober mind as instructed as 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. The word warns us that the devil prowls like a roaring lion seeking to devour, but I stand against any devouring schemes targeted at you. May you stand firm in the strength of God's spirit, resisting the enemy's attempt to manipulate and control. I declare the truth of Galatians 5, 1 over you. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. May the Lord break every yoke of bondage associated with witchcraft manipulation over your life. Let the freedom found in Christ be a reality in your life. May you walk in the liberty that comes from being a child of the Most High God in the name of Jesus. I pray for discernment for you. May God's Spirit grant you the ability to recognize any form of witchcraft manipulation and to stand against it with the authority given by Jesus Christ. Let your mind be guarded by the truth of God's word and may doubt and confusion be dispelled by the light of God's revelation. And in the authority, standing on the word in Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12, I renounce and reject every form of divination, sorcery and witchcraft targeted at you. God's word warns against such practices and so I pray that you remain steadfast in your commitment to follow God's ways and seek God's protection. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon forged against you will prevail. I claim this promise for you that no weapon of witchcraft manipulation 
will prosper against you. May the Lord vindicate you and shield you from the accusations and schemes of the enemy. May you find solace and strength in God's presence. May you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, as mentioned in Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2. Finding rest in the shadow of God Almighty's wings. May the Lord surround you with His angels, standing God against any spiritual attacks. God's victory is your victory. And I pray that you experience the peace that surpasses all understanding, trusting in God's unfailing love and protection. Father, we thank you for answering us. And we bless your name in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. The devil, known as the originator of falsehood and malice, constantly engages in warfare against believers, often imposing evil burdens upon them such as the yoke of sin. By ensnaring Christians in sin, the devil ensures they remain in disobedience to God. This underscores the necessity of consistently praying for deliverance from the yoke of sin. Despite the devil's relentless attacks, you can find solace in their victory through Christ Jesus as stated in John 16 verse 33. I have told you that all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. This verse reassures believers of peace amidst trials affirming Christ's triumph over the world, including Satan's schemes. I'd like you to make this declaration in the comment section. I walk in victory of Christ, therefore sin has no dominion over me. This prayer for deliverance from the yoke of sin holds significance as it reaffirms and activates your victory in liberation from the bondage of sin. Before we get into the prayer proper, I would love you to like this prayer. This can make the prayer available to those who need it. If you are new to the channel, you are welcome. I trust the Lord brings you to make your deliverance available. I would also like you to click on the subscribe icon so as to get notifications about more prayers for you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I express my gratitude for your unfailing love and mercy that surrounds your children and their family. According to Psalm 136 verse 1, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. And so Lord, I offer worship for your constant protection and guidance over them and their household in the name of Jesus. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray that from today you are liberated from the yoke of sin the tempers with your destiny as it is written in romans 6 14 for sin shall no longer be your master because you are not under the law but under grace with the divine power of the lord i declare that you are broken free from the burden of sin weighing you down in the name of jesus according to psalm 55 verse 22 cast your cares on the lord and he will sustain you he will never let the righteous be shaking i lay all burdens imposed on you by the devil at the feet of the cross in the name of Jesus and I claim victory for you as you agree with me in Jesus name and lose you from every evil yoke restraining you in the name of Jesus according to 1 Corinthians 15 57 but thanks be to God he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ and so I declare that every yoke placed upon you is destroyed in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit I pray that you are empowered to break free from every foundational yoke affecting you and your destiny according to Romans 8 11, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of a spirit who lives in you I declare that every scheme of the wicked aimed at burdening you, your family, career, academics, marriage and ministry be put into chaos in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of sin and delay hindering success in your life be dismantled by the power that's in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are guarded 
against any association that may impose a yoke upon your life. Let every force feeling the presence of oppressive yokes in your life be destroyed. According to Isaiah 9 verse 4, for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burdens from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian. And I decree that every yoke directed towards you and your family will recoil upon its sender in the name of Jesus. Psalm 7 verses 15 and 16 said, Whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made. The trouble they cause recalls on them. The violence comes down on their own head. May every demonic voice advocating for the imposition of yokes in your life and destiny be silenced in the name of Jesus. I bind every yoke of sin, delay and premature death in your life, family and marriage in the name of Jesus. As it is written in Matthew 18:18. 18, 18, Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. I pray that the Lord takes control of every aspect of your life and liberates you from all forms of yokes in the name of Jesus. I declare that every destiny wasting and draining force away from your life, family and household business career and ministry is diverted off your course in the name of Jesus. I nullify every evil scheme of the enemy aimed at in inflicting yokes upon your life. In the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 33 verse 10, the Lord foils the plans of the nations, he twists the purposes of the peoples. And so in the same vein, I pray that every concealed yoke in your life and destiny is exposed and uprooted in the name of Jesus. I declare that every aspect of your life radiates the glory of the Lord. According to Isaiah 60 verse 1, Arise, the glory of the Lord rises upon you. And I pray also that every demonic spirit behind the imposition of yokes in your life face their end in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord brings to completion everything concerning you and your household as it is written in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And so I declare that you are set free from every bondage of yokes upon you. As it is written in Galatians 5 verse 1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. I pray that the healing touch of the Lord is released upon you, removing every yoke and all yokes from your life and granting you perfect healing. I pray that all yokes of sin causing setbacks in your life and endeavors are dismissed in the name of Jesus. I declare that every altar of yokes manifesting in various aspects of your life are demolished in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are disassociated from every destiny sucking yoke. I declare that you are delivered from all yokes of sin aiming to prematurely end your life in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 91 verse 3, surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. I pray that the Lord keeps you and your household safe from all afflictions and yokes of the wicked. In the name of Jesus as it is written in Psalm 91 verse 10, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. Psalm 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. And so I declare that the angel of the Lord are sent into the camp of the evil ones, plotting to send yokes into your life to disrupt their place in the name of Jesus. I speak immunity to you and your household against all forms of evil yokes and burdens in the name of Jesus. As all evil yokes are shattered from your life, I pray that your destiny and star awaken and shine brightly in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 60 verse 1, Arise, shine, for your light has come. I also declare that the power of yokes and burdens against you are rendered useless. I declare the destruction of every covenant with all demonic yokes and burdens placed upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that you and your family are untouchable for all and from all demonic yokes and burdens in the name of Jesus according to Psalm 125 
verse 2 as the mountains surround Jerusalem so the Lord surround his people both now and forevermore father we thank you because you have done for us what we know will come to pass we know that we will receive the manifestation and our lives have changed for good even now on and forevermore in Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. The devil, known as the originator of falsehood in Mali's, constantly engages in warfare against believers, often imposing evil burdens upon them such as the yoke of sin. By ensnaring Christians in sin, the devil ensures they remain in disobedience to God. This underscores the necessity of consistently praying for deliverance from the yoke of sin. Despite the devil's relentless attacks, you can find solace in their victory through Christ Jesus as stated in John 16 verse 33. I have told you that all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. This verse reassures believers of peace amidst trials, affirming Christ's triumph over the world, including Satan's schemes. I'd like you to make this declaration in the comment section. I walk in victory of Christ, therefore sin has no dominion over me. This prayer for deliverance from the yoke of sin holds significance as it reaffirms and activates your victory in liberation from the bondage of sin. Before we get into the prayer proper, I would love you to like this prayer. This can make the prayer available to those who need it. If you are new to the channel, you are welcome. I trust the Lord brings you to make your deliverance available. I would also like you to click on the subscribe icon so as to get notifications about more prayers for you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I express my gratitude for your unfailing love and mercy that surrounds your children and their family. According to Psalm 136 verse 1, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. And so Lord, I offer worship for your constant protection and guidance over them and their household in the name of Jesus. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray that from today you are liberated from the yoke of sin that tampers with your destiny. As it is written in Romans 6, 14, for sin shall no longer be your master because you are not under the law, but under grace. With the divine power of the Lord, I declare that you are broken free from the burden of sin weighing you down in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 55 verse 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaking. I lay all burdens imposed on you by the devil at the feet of the cross in the name of Jesus. And I claim victory for you as you agree with me in Jesus name and lose you from every evil yoke restraining you in the name of Jesus. According to 1 Corinthians 15, 57, but thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so I declare that every yoke placed upon you is destroyed in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you are empowered to break free from every foundational yoke affecting you and your destiny. According to Romans 8, 11, and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of a spirit who lives in you. I declare that every scheme of the wicked aimed at burdening you, your family, career, academics, marriage and ministry be put into chaos in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of sin and delay hindering success in your life be dismantled by the power that's in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are guarded against any association that may impose a yoke upon your life. Let every force feeling the presence of oppressive yokes in your life 
be destroyed uh, according to isaiah 9 verse 4 for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burdens from their shoulders you will break the oppressor's rod just as you did when you destroyed the army of midian and i decree that every yoke directed towards you and your family will recoil upon its sender in the name of jesus psalm 7 verses 15 and 16 said whoever digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit they have made the trouble they cause recalls on them the violence comes down on their own head may every demonic voice advocating for the imposition of yokes in your life and destiny be silenced in the name of jesus i bind every yoke of sin delay and premature death in your life family and marriage in the name of jesus as it is written in matthew 18 18 Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. I pray that the Lord takes control of every aspect of your life and liberates you from all forms of yokes. In the name of Jesus, I declare that every destiny wasting and draining force away from your life, family, and household business, career, and ministry is diverted off your course in the name of Jesus. I nullify every evil scheme of the enemy aimed at in inflicting yokes upon your life. In the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 33 verse 10, the Lord foils the plans of the nations, he twists the purposes of the peoples. And so in the same vein, I pray that every concealed yoke in your life and destiny is exposed and uprooted in the name of Jesus. I declare that every aspect of your life radiates the glory of the Lord. According to Isaiah 60 verse 1, Arise, the glory of the Lord rises upon you. And I pray also that every demonic spirit behind the imposition of yokes in your life is their end. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord brings to completion everything concerning you and your household as it is written in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 being confident of this that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus and so I declare that you are set free from every bondage of yokes upon you as it is written in Galatians 5 verse 1 it is for freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery I pray that the healing touch of the Lord is released upon you removing every yoke and all yokes from your life and granting you perfect healing I pray that all yokes of sin causing setbacks in your life and endeavors are dismissed in the name of Jesus I declare that every altar of yokes manifesting in various aspects of your life are demolished in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are disassociated from every destiny sucking yoke. I declare that you are delivered from all yokes of sin aiming to prematurely end your life in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 91 verse 3, surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. I pray that the Lord keeps you and your household safe from all afflictions and yokes of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, as it is written in Psalm 91 verse 10, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. Psalm 34 verse 7 says, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them and so I declare that the angel of the Lord are sent into the camp of the evil ones plotting to send yokes into your life to disrupt their place in the name of Jesus I speak immunity to you and your household against all forms of evil yokes and burdens in the name of Jesus as all evil yokes are shattered from your life I pray that your destiny and star awaken and shine brightly in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 60 verse 1, Arise, shine, for your light has come. I also declare that the power of yokes and burdens against you are rendered useless. I declare the destruction of every covenant with all demonic yokes and burdens placed upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that you and your family are untouchable for all and from all demonic yokes and burdens in the name of Jesus according to Psalm 125 verse 2 as the mountains surround Jerusalem so the Lord surround his people both now and forevermore 
Father, we thank you because you've done for us what we know will come to pass. We know that we will receive the manifestation and our lives have changed for good even now on and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. Prayer possesses the transformative power to shatter the enduring bonds and chains that have persisted through the ages. The profound impact of prayer is illustrated in the early Christian's intercession for Paul when he was imprisoned. Their prayers resulted in the breaking of the chains that confined him. This echoes the sentiment expressed in Psalm 107 verse 14, proclaiming, He brought you out of darkness, the deepest darkness, and shattered your chains. In recognition of this potent force, I invite you to join me in earnest prayer to God. Together, let us petition the Almighty to break every chain that has persistently held you in bondage. Drawing inspiration from the biblical narrative of Paul's liberation through prayer and timeless truth encapsulated in Psalm 107 verse 14, we seek divine intervention to liberate and free you from the entanglement that have hindered and constrained you. Through collective supplication, we anticipate the breaking of chains that have endured. Trusting in the transformative power of prayer to bring forth liberation and freedom. As I move ahead to pray, I will love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can have more notifications of prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Father, I come before you with a heart burdened by the weight of chains and bounds that have entangled these ones under the sound of my voice. Your word in Psalm 107 verse 14 declares, He brought them out of darkness, the outer darkness, and broke away their chains. I lift you up, therefore, brother and sister, to God, knowing that his power is greater than any bondage. I pray that you may experience the truth of the scripture in depth of your being. The Lord breaks away the chains that bind you, your spirit, the chains of fear, doubt, and despair. He is the God who sets captives free, and I believe that he can do the same for you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any strongholds that may be holding you captive. Let the light of God's love penetrate the darkest corners of your heart, dispelling all darkness. God's word assures us that where his spirit is, there is freedom. May his spirit move mightily in your life, bringing liberation from every form of bondage. I pray for the strength and courage for you that you need to walk away from the things that ensnare you. May the Lord grant you the wisdom to discern unhealthy patterns and the determination to break free from them. Our Savior Jesus Christ came to proclaim victory for the captives. I claim this victory for you today and I pray that you would fully grasp the reality of your identity in Christ. May the Lord remind you that you are beloved of the Most High God and God's love. There is no room for chains. Let God's love wash over you, cleansing and renewing your mind, body and spirit. I lift up any past wounds or traumas that may be contributing to the change in your life. Father, you are the Lord, the healer of broken hearts, as I ask for your gentle touch to bring restoration and healing upon their lives. May you pour out your grace upon them, covering them with your peace that surpasses all understanding. May you find strength, therefore, brother, in God's word, meditating on the promises that declare freedom and victory. May the Lord surround you with a community of believers who will support, encourage, and uplift you in your journey towards freedom. May you use God's word as a sword to cut through the chains that bind you, setting yourself free 
to live the abundant life that God has promised you as a child of the Most High. Father, I thank you for your faithfulness and unfailing love. I trust that just as you brought others out of darkness and broke the chain, you will do the same for these ones. May your name be glorified in their testimony of liberation, even now and forevermore. Beloved, I pray that may the Lord be glorified in the testimony of your liberation. As you become a living testament of his power and grace in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, your word assures us in John 8, 36, that if the Son sets us free, we will be free indeed. And so I claim this promise for you under the sound of my voice that Christ Jesus has the power to break every chain that binds you. I pray for a profound revelation of this freedom in your heart and life even right now in the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 declares that it is for freedom that Christ has set you free. And I pray for the strength for you to stand firm in this freedom, resisting any yoke of slavery that may be trying to burden you once again. May the truth of God's word become a shield around you, protecting you from the schemes of the enemy and the weight of any past or present struggles. I lift up the areas of your life where you feel entangled and bound, whether it be in your thoughts, relationships, habits, or circumstances. I ask for God's intervention as I pray the Lord breaks every chain that hinders your spiritual, emotional, and mental well-being. I pray that God's light shine into the darkest corners of your heart, bringing healing and restoration. I pray that the spirit of the sovereign Lord, as described in Isaiah 61 verse 1, will be upon you, anointing you with power to proclaim good news, to bind up the brokenhearted, and to release freedom for the captives. I ask for divine intervention in your life, replacing despair with hope, brokenness with wholeness, and captivity with liberty. As you seek to live a life aligned with God's will, I pray for discernment and strength. I pray you shall not be burdened by the expectations of the world or the weight of your own mistakes. Instead, may you find solace in the truth that is in Christ. You are a new creation, as stated in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. I also intercede on your behalf. As I pray for the community around you, let God's love flow through the relationships in your life, breaking down walls of isolation and fostering an environment of acceptance and grace. I rebuke any stronghold that may be holding you captive, whether it be fear, doubt, addiction, or any other form of bondage. I declare victory over these obstacles for you in the name of Jesus. Romans 8.37 says, that you were more than conquerors through him who loved you. I declare, may you experience this victorious reality in every aspect of your life. I pray for a renewed mind in your life. May the Holy Spirit transform your thoughts of perspective according to God's truth as mentioned in Romans 12 verse 2. I replace negative self-talk with affirmations of your identity in Christ. May the power of God's word demolish any strongholds of lies or deception that may have taken root in your life in the name of Jesus. In the process of breaking free, I pray for patience and endurance for you. Changes often the journey. And I ask for God's grace to sustain you through every step. I pray the Lord provides moments of rest and reflection, allowing his love to permeate every area of your life. In the midst of challenges, may you find strength in God's promises and the assurance that God is always with you. I commit your future in God's hands as you walk in the freedom God has provided. May the Holy Spirit guide your footsteps and illuminate the path ahead. God's word assures us in Psalm 32 verse 8 that you will instruct and teach us in every way we should go. And so I pray for you to hear God's gentle guidance and follow his lead. I trust that as I lift you before God, God is already at work breaking chains and setting you free. May his name be glorified through the testimony of your transformed life. Even now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. Amen. In the presence of our almighty God, there's always assurance for strength. The Bible says he is strong when we are weak. God's interest is that we would continuously 
receive from him because he says he is the vine we are the branches a lot of believers have not understood this powerful revelation hence they are falling weak all the time but if you observe that you're going through weakness as a child of god and you need divine intervention i need you to join me as we pray this prayer so that you receive strength even in your weakness let us pray father in the name of jesus we thank you once again for your faithfulness and your kindness over our lives we well, thank you because you are faithful god and never ever waits until he sees his children down your ears are ever ready to hear us and to answer us and so our confidence is here that when we come you will do it even now and so lord i come on the behalf of everyone under the sound of my voice acknowledging your sovereignty and unwavering presence in the midst of life's battles i declare your word in psalm 28 verse 7 the lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusts in him and he helps me i saw my heart lips for joy and with my song and praise him and this sacred moment of prayer i declare that you that are under the sound of my voice you receive strength in god for he is your refuge and fortress as you face the challenges that loom before you i pray that god's strength becomes your anchor May the assurance of his presence be a shield that guards your heart and mind. In moments of weariness, may you find renewed strength by placing your trust in God, the source of unfailing love and unyielding strength. As you navigate the battles that come your way, I declare that the triumphant song sang by Moses and the Israelites in Exodus chapter 15 verse 2 become manifest in your life. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. And so I join in this declaration, acknowledging that you, God, is you are not only the source of strength to this one's under the sound of my voice, but the very song that resonates in their hearts. In the face of adversity, may the Lord grant you the strength to praise and to lift up your voice in gratitude even in the storm. May your song of praise become a powerful testimony of God's faithfulness and might. As we exalt God in the battle, let his salvation be manifested in every area of your life. I pray for a divine exchange, the exchange of weakness for God's strength. May the Lord replace any weariness, doubt or fear with the unwavering confidence that comes from knowing that you are the God of all strength. May your heart leap for joy, not because circumstances are easy, but because God's presence makes the journey worthwhile in Jesus' name. I pray that in the moments of doubt, that you cling to the promises found in God's word, like Psalm 119 verse 28, that says, My soul is weary with sorrow, strengthen me according to your word. And so I pour forth strength through the promises God has spoken, infusing your spirit with resilience and endurance as you stand on the battlefield of life. I declare victory in your life in Jesus' name. And I pray the Lord strengthen you your resolve to face challenges, knowing that with God you are more than conqueror. May the battles you face become testimonies of God's faithfulness and the triumph of God's grace. According to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10, I pray that you be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. May the Lord clothe you with a whole armor that you may stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. Let the belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, shoes of the gospel of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit equip you for every battle you encounter. May the Lord release a supernatural endurance within you in moments where weariness seeks to overtake you. Let God's strength surge within, enabling you to run the race set before you with perseverance and steadfastness. In the name of Jesus, I declare a tangible manifestation of God's strength in your life. May you experience the joy of leaning on God, your ever-present help in times of trouble. May the Lord's strength be your song echoing in the chambers of your heart and resounding in praise to God's holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare in the sanctuary of prayer as I lift my voice to the Almighty, drawing strength from the wellspring of His promises. 
Let the words be a balm to your weary spirit, for in the midst of life's battle may you seek the strength that can only come from our gracious and ever-present Lord. I declare the Psalm 46 verse 1 which says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. May it be your strength and in the face of adversity and the storms that may rage, I anchor this prayers on the firm foundation of God's unwavering presence. May you find solace in the refuge that God provides a sanctuary where his strength becomes your stronghold. I speak that as you move around the battlefields of life, Isaiah 40 verse 31 comes to you seeking the soaring strength promised to those who hope in the Lord. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And I declare that in moments of weariness and exhaustion, may your hope be steadfast, knowing that God's divine renewal will lift you on wings of resilience and endurance. I pray that you will find strength not only to run, but to soar above the challenges that seek to weigh you down. May the promises of God breathe life into your spirit, rejuvenating your soul with boundless energy that comes from placing your hope in God. Psalm 73 verse 26 echoes a profound truth in the journey of battles. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. In times where your own strength falters, may you find refuge in the external wellspring of God's strength in the name of Jesus. I declare that let the awareness of his presence infuse courage into your heart, knowing that his strength becomes the bedrock upon which you stand. I declare that the battles that you face are, be it external conflicts or internal struggles of the heart, that the Lord will grant you the fortitude to endure the resilience to rise above those challenges. I declare divine strength over every aspect of your life, and I call upon the Lord God Almighty that when weariness threatens to overtake her, May Isaiah 40, 31 be a beacon of hope for you, reminding you that in the waiting and hoping, new strength is born. I bless the name of the Lord as I decree that when the flesh weakens, may the strength of God's heart become your steadfast anchor. May God's strength be the sustaining force that allows you to press on, knowing that in every trial, God is the eternal portion, the everlasting source of hope and strength for you in the name of Jesus. I proclaim victory over the battles you face. May God's strength be a mighty force empowering you to overcome and emerge triumphant. May the refuge of God's presence and the wings of hope carry you through the battles stronger and more resolute than ever before. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. In Psalm 144 verse 1, King David the psalmist expresses gratitude declaring, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who prepares my hands for war and my fingers for battle. This verse emphasizes the Lord's role as a source of strength and preparation for various battles, encompassing both spiritual and physical realms. It underscores the idea that the Lord equips individuals with the strength needed to face and overcome challenges. David acknowledges the Lord as the ultimate provider of strength, enabling believers to navigate diverse battles that life presents. This divine strength extends to every aspect of existence, demonstrating that relying on God's power is essential for triumph in various struggles. Beloved, I'd like you to join me as I pray the prayer of strength for battles for you. The sentiment conveyed in is that certain battles are conquerable only with the strength derived from God. So by recognizing the need for divine empowerment, believers find assurance that the Lord their rock is a steadfast source of strength preparing them for the multifaceted battles encountered on their life's journey. As I move ahead to pray, I would love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can receive more notifications or prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. As I humbly come interceding for everyone who faces battles and challenges that seem overwhelming. Your word in Psalm 144 verse 1 says, Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Father, I lift these ones up to you, acknowledging that you are their source of strength and rock upon which they stand. I thank you, Father, for being a fortress and a refuge for them. God, you are the one who trains their hands for war and equips their fingers for battle. And therefore, I pray for you that is in agreement with me that you may feel God training, God preparation and God guidance in every aspect and step of your journey. In the midst of battles, may you find confidence in God, the rock that does not waver. As you face the challenges before you, I pray that you draw strength from Psalm 18 verse 39. You armed me with the strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I pray that God arms you with his divine strength. May you be clothed with the armor of faith, righteousness and truth as you stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. I pray for your adversaries, whatever form they may take, whether internal struggles, external pressures or spiritual battles. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory over every adversary that rises against you even now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will experience the humbling of your adversaries through God's mighty power. May the Lord grant you the wisdom to discern the battles worth fighting and the battles best left in his hands. May you not be discouraged by the magnitude of the challenges, but find assurance in the truth that God is with you. God's presence is your greatest strength and in God you can overcome any oppositions. And I pray therefore for resilience in you just as a rock withstands the crashing waves. May you stand firm in the face of adversity. Let God's strength be a shield around you, protecting your heart, mind and soul from the arrows of doubt, fear and discouragement. In the moments where you feel weary, I pray for renewed strength upon you in the name of Jesus. God's premise in Isaiah 40 verse 31 assures us that those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. May you find solace in waiting in God, trusting that God will lift you up with his wings as eagles, enabling you to soar above the challenges. I pray for your mind that it will be guarded by the peace that surpasses understanding. Replace anxiety with God's assurance, doubt with God's truth and confusion with God's wisdom. May you find strength not only in physical battles, but also in the battles of the mind and spirit in Jesus' name. God's word says in 2 Samuel chapter 22 verse 40, You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I pray for a divine exchange where your weakness is traded for God's strength, where despair is replaced by hope, and where defeat transforms into victory through God's mighty hand. As you walk through this battle, may you experience God's guidance like a shepherd leading a sheep through treacherous terrain. May God's rod and staff comfort and protect you. I pray that you feel God's guiding hand in every decision and step you take in the name of Jesus. I thank God for his promise in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And so I pray may you draw strength from God's realizing that your abilities are not limited by God's own, but empowered by the one who gives strength abundantly. In the midst of the battle, may you remember that God is the God who fights for you. God's love surrounds you like a shoulder. And so I pray that you will find courage and assurance in God's unfailing love. I commit your journey into God's hand, trusting that God's strength is made perfect in weakness. May you emerge from this battle not only stronger but also more rooted in faith and anchored in God's love and filled with the peace that surpasses all understanding in Jesus' powerful and victorious name. 
I pray God's word in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 that reminds us to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. I lift you up to God, acknowledging that the true strength comes from God alone. In the moments where the battle seems overwhelming, I pray that you find your strength anchored in God. God's word in Psalm 27 verse 1 declares, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? In the face of fear and uncertainty, I pray that you cling to God as your source of light and salvation. May God's presence be a fortress around you, dispelling all shadows of doubt and anxiety. I lift up the specific battles that you are facing now, whether they are physical, emotional or spiritual. I trust in God's sovereignty. He is not only aware of your struggle, but also intimately involved in every detail. May he grant you the courage to face each challenge with confidence, knowing that he goes before you. In moments of weariness, I pray that the Holy Spirit reminds you that you can lean on God for rest. His word promises in Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. And beloved, I pray for you that you find solace in God's presence, finding rest in the assurance that he carries your burdens. May the Lord equip you with discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy. May you be alert and vigilant, standing firm in your faith. I pray against any doubt or discouragement that may seek to undermine your confidence in God. Let the light of God's truth dispel the darkness of deception that the enemy is trying to give to you. May the Lord strengthen your relationship with him through prayer and the study of his word. May you draw close to God, finding refuge in God's promises. And in times of uncertainty, may you find comfort in the certainty of God's love and faithfulness. I pray for a community of support and encouragement around you. May the Lord surround you with your fellow believers who can uplift and strengthen you in the battles you face. May you experience the power of unity as you join together with others in faith. May the Lord grant you the wisdom to discern when to stand firm and when to yield to your guidance. May the Lord lead you in the path of righteousness. Let his light illuminate your way. May you move forward with confidence knowing that God is your guide and protector. I thank you, Father, for your promises of strength and protection over this one's life. As they face the battles ahead, I trust that your presence will be their anchor. May your mighty power manifest in their life, bringing victory and glory to your name. Thank you for answering our prayers. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I come before the throne of grace, bringing you into God's presence. As we bow before his presence, his word in Isaiah 43 verse 19 declares that he is doing a new thing, making a way where there seems to be no way. And I join in faith with you as I lift you up and your desire for breakthrough, trusting in God's promises of renewal and transformation. So let us pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that God opens your eyes to perceive the new things he is doing in your life. May you recognize the signs of breakthrough that God is orchestrating in every aspect of your journey. May God's divine intervention be evident, bringing forth a season of refreshing and unprecedented breakthroughs. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 reminds us that through Christ, we can do all things, and so I declare this truth over you in Jesus' name. May the Lord strengthen your spirit, mind, and body, empowering you to overcome obstacles and face challenges with unwavering faith. May you find strength in God, the source of all power and resilience. May the Lord break every chain that hinders your progress, whether it be doubt, fears, or external challenges. I pray for liberation. Let the power of your spirit demolish, Lord God Almighty, every stronghold standing in the way of this one's breakthrough. May the Lord grant them the courage to step into new opportunities and possibilities with confidence. I lift you up 
and your dreams and aspirations to God and I declare that you will align your desires with God's perfect will and may your pursuit of breakthrough be in harmony with God's divine plan may the Lord guard you and guide you in making decisions that lead to a future filled with hope and purpose in the name of Jesus I pray for divine provision in areas where breakthrough is needed over these ones lives whether it be financial emotional or relational let God's abundant blessings overflow in their lives God is the God of abundance and I trust that he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in moments of weariness may you be reminded that God's grace is sufficient as you face challenges may you find solace and strength in the assurance that God's grace carries you through let every trial be an opportunity for you to experience the overcoming power of God's love. May the Lord grant you a heart that is attuned to his guidance. May you walk in obedience to God's word, trusting that as you acknowledge God in all your ways, he will make your path straight. As promised in Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, I declare victory and breakthrough over your life. He is a God who makes a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. And so I trust that through his mighty hand, you will experience a season of breakthrough that surpasses all expectations in the mighty name of Jesus. I come before the throne of grace, lifting you up in prayer for a breakthrough. God's word in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 reminds us that the weapons of our warfare are not the flesh, but that have divine power to destroy strongholds and therefore I pray that you experience a breakthrough in areas where strongholds have hindered progress and joy in your life. May the power of God divine weapons dismantle every obstacle and open up new parts of victory for you. For God is the God of hope and purpose. His promise in Jeremiah 29 11 assures us of his good plans for our lives, plans for welfare and not for evil plans to give us a future and a hope and I claim those promises for you believing the breakthrough is not only possible but is part of God's purpose for your life in the name of Jesus in the authority of God's word I declare that every stronghold whether visible or hidden be broken in your life breakthrough in relationships in health in finances and in every area that needs God's transformative touch I pray against any negative thought patterns fears and anxieties that may have taken root. Let the power of God's truth as stated in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 destroy arguments and opinions that stand against the knowledge of God in your life. Take every thought captive and align your mind with the liberating truth of God's word. God's ways are higher and so I pray for a supernatural breakthrough that defies human understanding over your life in the name of Jesus. As you face uncertainties and challenges, may the Lord help you through in his sovereignty. His plans for you are plans of hope and a future. Let this truth anchor your faith as you journey towards breakthrough. May you find assurance in God's unchanging character, knowing that he is with you in every step. I ask for strength and courage for you in moments of discouragement let the holy spirit remind you that god has commanded you to be strong and courageous according to joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and i pray for resilience in the face of adversity and the steadfast spirit that persists in seeking breakthrough for you in the name of jesus as we pray for breakthrough may the lord grant you wisdom to discern his guidance may you recognize the doors god open and party illuminates his word in proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 encourages us to trust in him with all our hearts and acknowledge him in all our ways i pray that you lean not on your own understanding but trust in god's divine guidance in this moment of prayer i surrender every burden and desire for breakthrough into god's hands as he is the God who sees, who hears, and who cares deeply for you, I rest in the assurance knowing that God's promises are yea and amen over your life. May breakthrough unfold in your life, bringing glory and honor to God's name in your life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we know the breakthrough is yours and there is nothing the devil can do over the lives of these ones that you have liberated. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living god we pray amen limitations are obstacles employed by the adversary and his cohorts to impede your advancement in life 
hinder your achievements and inhibit your optimal performance. However, Christ's liberation from the grip of anything the devil imposes upon you, as stated in Isaiah 10 27, is profound. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So join me in this wonderful prayer. With your faith, if you experience limitations in any area of your life, trust that God will from today give you deliverance. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for your love to see your children delivered from what's limiting them. I thank you because we can come to you in the name of Jesus and obtain that victory. I thank you for the victory that you have already given them because your word says in John 8 verse 32, he who sets you free is free indeed. Father, I thank you for your thoughts for them, for they are good and not evil. Thank you, Jesus, that this is not your will or plan for their lives to be hampered by demonic forces and their evil weapons. And so by the authority in your name, Jesus, I command every tool of darkness aimed at obstructing everyone under the sound of my voice freedom to be dispersed. I proclaim also in the name of Jesus that you under the sound of my voice are liberated from all evil barriers. I declare that every scheme devised by the devil and his minions against your destiny as you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior from today they shall not prosper in Jesus name. According to Psalm 21 verse 11, though they plan evil against you, Though they devise mischief, they will not succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree the incineration of every instrument of limitation surrounding you. I declare that you will not encounter any limitations generations ahead of you faced in Jesus' name. I speak the word of God in Isaiah 43 verse 19 over you. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And so in the name of Jesus, I command every obstacle hindering your destiny be removed from your path. I decree the destruction of every dark altar where your affairs have been presented. I nullify every curse of limitation placed upon you and your family by your ancestors as I command every spirit of limitation to depart from your life and destiny in Jesus name. I declare that every entity responsible for imposing the curse of limitation upon your finances be consumed by divine fire in Jesus name. I decree by the authority on that name that every force pulling your back from advancing in destiny fills for it is written in Romans 8 verse 37 you are more than conquerors through Christ who loved you. I declare that every inherited evil trait that renders you susceptible to attack gotten rid of now in the name of Jesus. According to the psalmist prayer in Psalm 18 verse 16, He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. And so I declare that you are delivered from every detrimental habit that has deprived you from your freedom in Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray for restoration of your ability to enjoy your freedom in Christ as I declare that our sin has no dominion over you according to Romans chapter 6 verse 12. Any spirit of limitation has no hold over you also in Jesus name. Psalm 140 verse 9 says, As for the head of those who surround me, let the mischief of their lips overwhelm them. And so I declare the intentions of the wicked to limit you overwhelm them in Jesus name. And I reclaim your liberty in Christ. As Galatians 5 1 says, For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. I disassociate you from any ungodly association that fosters limitation traits in your life. Aligning with 2 Corinthians 6, verse 17. Therefore, go out from their midst and be separate from them, says the Lord. And so I 
completely sever your ties with your old association and cleave to godly ones in the name of Jesus. I reject shame and disappointment associated with the spirit of limitation. They shall no longer have rule over your life. I pray that you receive grace to mirror Christ completely in all your endeavors this season. I declare that you refuse to conform to any patterns of limitations in your lineage. I decree the destruction of every hindrance obstructing your progress. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I command the demise of every satanic barrier that has held you captive in the single phase for years in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 107 verse 14, he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and burst their bonds apart to every confinement suppressing the emergence of your destiny. I decree your liberation and release in the name of Jesus Christ. Altars of darkness that have erected barriers to impede your advancement in career and health, I command their disruption in the name of Jesus. Structures erected by the forces of darkness to resist your progress, I decree their demolition in Jesus' name. Every curse instigated against your life from infancy, perpetuating stagnation, I break their influence over you and decree their ineffectiveness in your life in Jesus' name. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew the strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I declare supernatural acceleration to transcend your current state in Jesus' name. I declare the restoration of all that you have lost due to stagnation in the mighty name of Jesus. Joel 2.25 says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. According to the statement of Jesus in Luke 10 verse 18, it says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And so I declare a fall like lightning to every powers of darkness opposing your advancement. In Jesus' name, I decree that you break free from the confines of every spiritual entrapment hindering your progress in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13 says, And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you shall only go up and not down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, and so I declare in the name of Jesus that you step into territories generations before you could not enter due to the curse of limitation. Every blessing ordained by God for you and your loved ones shall come to fruition in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that every plot of demotion aimed at you shall crumble in the face of divine promotion. I decree an end to stagnation in your life by the divine authority vested in Jesus Christ's name. I declare a swift transition in your life from one level of greatness to another, devoid of limitations, delays and stagnations. Father, we thank you because all of these that we have asked are already done in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, do you know that the sinister strategy of the adversary is centered on theft, destruction and death, devoid of any benevolent intent? Employing demons and witches, the devil seeks to manipulate minds, instigating actions aligned with his malevolent agenda. It is therefore crucial to stand against the insidious influence of witchcraft manipulation through prayer. In combating this dark forces, one can find solace in the biblical truth that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That is 1 John chapter 4 verse 4. The scripture emphasizes the overwhelming strength of the indwelling presence of God within believers, surpassing the influence of any external malevolent force. So recognizing the devil's tactics to manipulate minds, Christians are encouraged to turn to prayer as a powerful defense. As I am about to pray against every witchcraft manipulation over your life by invoking divine protection and relying on the strength found in God's indwelling spirit, please join me as believers so that we can resist and overcome the manipulative schemes orchestrated by the enemy as affirmed by the biblical assurance of God's supremacy 
over the forces of darkness. So as I move ahead to pray, I would love you to like this video. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. God definitely arranged it for you to be here to receive your deliverance. You can subscribe to this channel so that you can have more notifications of prayers for you from this channel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ. I come on the behalf of everyone here that has decided to agree with me to pray recognizing the authority and power that is in your name. Your word in Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 to 12 warn against practices like witchcraft and sorcery, saying, let no one be found among you who sacrifices their own son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or is a medium or spiritist or consults the dead. I bring before you, Father God, seeking protection and deliverance from any form of witchcraft ever one that has joined me, as I declare that now you are under God's divine covering, as I rebuke any attempt of the enemy to manipulate or harm you through witchcraft. God's word is a shield and a fortress as I pray that you find refuge in God's mighty name, in the authority of Jesus Christ, I break and nullify any spells, curses, or manipulative schemes that may have been directed towards you. I claim the victory declared in Galatians 5 verse 1 for you. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourself be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. I declare may you stand firm in the freedom that is found only in God. I pray for discernment for you, that you may recognize any subtle or overt attempts to manipulate your life through dark forces. I pray for a protective hedge around your body, mind, and spirit. May the Lord guard your thoughts from the influence of any manipulative spells or enchantments. Let God's truth be a lamp unto your feet eliminating the path and dispelling any darkness that may seek to cloud your judgment. In the powerful name of Jesus, I command any spiritual forces engaged in manipulating your life to seize their activity now. I declare that the blood of Jesus covers you and is a shield against weapons formed against you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord release his angels to encamp around you let this heavenly beings be a formidable force against any spiritual attack or manipulations over your life. God's angels excel in strength and so I pray that they guard you against unseen dangers, providing a wall of defense against the enemy's tactics. I pray for your spiritual armor as mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 to be fully equipped and firmly in place. May you be clothed with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of righteousness, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. May this armor render you impervious to the schemes of the enemy. I lift you who may be engaging in witchcraft, praying for your hearts to be touched by God's love and truth. May you turn away from darkness and find light of Christ. May the angels of God break the chains that bind you to the forces of manipulation and open your eyes to the futility of such practices. I declare the victory belongs to God over your life in the name of Jesus. I take authority over every and any demonic influence associated with witchcraft and command it to leave your life. I pray for a supernatural cleansing and restoration of your spiritual and emotional well-being. I trust that God's hand is mighty to save you and I declare victory over any form of witchcraft manipulation in your life now in the name of Jesus. I come again as I bring you before the Lord seeking God's divine protection and deliverance for you against any form of witchcraft manipulation. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 15 declares, For the battle is not yours but God's. I lift you into God's mighty hand, acknowledging that the battles you face are ultimately God's to fight. 
I declare God's promise over you that the battle is not yours but God's. I surrender your struggles, your fears, and your uncertainties, even as you agree with me into God's sovereign care. In the face of any witchcraft manipulation, I trust in God's authority and power to overcome for you. He is the Almighty and no scheme of the enemy can stand against him. I invoke the truth of 1 John 4, 4 over you. You are from God and overcome. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. And so I pray that God empowers you with the awareness that his spirit within you is greater than any force of darkness outside. Let this truth resonate in your heart, revealing and giving you confidence in God's victory in the name of Jesus. Also pray in the authority of that name, Jesus Christ, as I rebuke any witchcraft manipulation that may be affecting your life. His word in Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 declares that Jesus disarmed the powers and authorities, triumphing over them by the cross. I claim this victory for you, that every weapon formed against you through witchcraft is disarmed by the finished work of Christ on the cross in Jesus' name. I pray that you would be alert and of sober mind as instructed as 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. The word warns us that the devil prowls like a roaring lion seeking to devour, but I stand against any devouring schemes targeted at you. May you stand firm in the strength of God's spirit, resisting the enemy's attempt to manipulate and control. I declare the truth of Galatians 5, 1 over you. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. May the Lord break every yoke of bondage associated with witchcraft manipulation over your life. Let the freedom found in Christ be a reality in your life. May you walk in the liberty that comes from being a child of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus. I pray for discernment for you. May God's Spirit grant you the ability to recognize any form of witchcraft manipulation and to stand against it with the authority given by Jesus Christ. Let your mind be guarded by the truth of God's word and may doubt and confusion be dispelled by the light of God's revelation. And in the authority, standing on the word in Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12, I renounce and reject every form of divination, sorcery, and witchcraft targeted at you. God's word warns against such practices, and so I pray that you remain steadfast in your commitment to follow God's ways and seek God's protection. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon forged against you will prevail. I claim this promise for you that no weapon of witchcraft manipulation will prosper against you. May the Lord vindicate you and shield you from the accusations and schemes of the enemy. May you find solace and strength in God's presence. May you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, as mentioned in Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2, finding rest in the shadow of God Almighty's wings. May the Lord surround you with His angels, standing God against any spiritual attacks. God's victory is your victory and I pray that you experience the peace that surpasses all understanding, trusting in God's unfailing love and protection. Father, we thank you for answering us and we bless your name in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Have you subscribed to our channel? If you haven't, please do so and God bless you as you do.